Well, hello, 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 hello. How are we all doing, people? As we can see here, Mr. Micro is hard at work farming all this wood for his new base in his ever so nice looking brand spanking new lumberjack dlc hazmat suit equipped with his new specially designed hatchet mr micro if you could just pause a quick second shall we just get a nice quick look at you in all of your element looking ever so lovely there very nice very nice how about micro we get uh, you popping back to our little base area where we can properly showcase that off during the daytime and all nice and bright in your happy little modelling position. So, if you can get yourself back to our special base area, what are we pointing at? Where are we going? Over there? Oh, well, you move on ahead back there and I'm going to quickly take a look at SMM. So, people, let's go back over there here. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Micro, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Are you having fun right there? Well, I'm out here just hard at work. You know, I got my, uh, my hazmat suit on, my, my welder's helmet, and I'm uh, chopping away. Just having a good time chopping wood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like chopping some wood on a Saturday. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta keep those furnaces going. Good job, good job. It's nice to have someone always at work keeping the base up and running. So let's just get a real quick look. The Lumberjack DLC uh, first appeared this past Rustle rotation. It is currently selling now to the equivalent of $12.99. Uh, whatever your currency is, it should be matching up to that. So $12.99 in the general store, a permanent skin, which you cannot buy, sell, and trade after you've like uh, bought it. It's a permanent skin. The very second you buy it from the Rust store, after 48 hours, you have it forever. You cannot sell it. You cannot trade it. That's that. And we'll just take a real quick look and see how everything's looking so far this past week with the most recent Rust or rotation. Constellations Metal Double Door doing rather well. Not as good as the previous skins we've seen these past few weeks. We have seen quite a lot of poncho skins as well, so that's probably the reason why this poncho hasn't sold so much after two days. Stump Furnace plodding along very nicely. Everything seemingly fairly close with each other in terms of sales numbers with the top four skins we see here and below we've got the AK, the body bag door, the Venomous LR300 and the military double barrel shotgun. We'll take a look at all we'll take a look at all of these skins in our showcase and of course we have the 48 hour analysis to really go in depth and talk about what we're seeing here with the numbers of sales. So with that, Mr. Micro, how are you? Hello, hello. Fine, thanks. <laughs> I was out farming wood. Look at all this wood I got. Well oh, done. Oh, he's got a lot right there. Oh, I've zoomed in too much. How about if I press R? There we go. Splendid stuff. Right, I, I, if I just press H again, and there we are. Perfect. So, number one, I just want to quickly make the weather. Uh, so, weather.load space clear. <gasps> oh, wonderful. Now we can see him in all of his elements. So, Mr. Micro, how are we doing here? You have... By the way, this is this is not admin wood. I went out and farmed each and every piece of this wood by myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this bit. So, let's just get a nice quick zoom in over here. And, gentlemen, I would like to point out I have the new PC, the 3080 Ti. I am now going to slowly zoom in. And get all of this lovely detail. Max quality skin inspection. I'm going to get real up. <laughs> real up close. Well, let's first of all, let's just get a right, uh, real good look at his body. Let's start from the bottom and work our way to the top. So, we've got a very nice looking pair of boots. Perfect pair of boots to run around in during the... Rather hilly terrain as you're looking around for new trees to chop down and whatnot. Hey, could you could you tie my shoe for me? Could you, tie my shoe? <laughs> you know what? How could they have done that to you? You you could easily trip and fall over. That's not very good. Face punch, please fix this. Please, and please fix it. 
protection on the knees in case he needs to kneel down and get into all of those harsh, horrible bushes and thrushes and whatnot. So yes, very nice design on this hazmat suit skin. And we'll scroll up a little bit more. Let's get a look at his body. As we can see, in theme with the uh, lumberjack theme, we, he's actually wearing a lumberjack style hoodie. Now this is a, this is a hazmat suit skin, so don't be tricked. It might look like a, um, a hoodie, but you know, it's all part of the design. And of course, if we just scroll up a little bit more, we can see Mr. Micro with his funny little helmet that makes him sound very silly when he talks. Mr. It's, it's hot in here too. <laughs> it's, like, it's hard to breathe. I'm telling you, it's not. It's not very comfortable. So that is our lumberjack hazmat suit, the third hazmat suit skin that we've had introduced. The first being the nomad suit. Now, actually, no, it's the fourth. We had space suit, then we had nomad, then we had the arctic suit, and now we have lumberjack. So let's just get a quick look at you at night time, and I just want to get a nice quick look at you and your lens as we see it reflect in the light. So, Mr. Micro, if you could just tilt ever so slightly to the right, and we can see all the light reflecting on that lens. Very, very cool. We can see all the light reflecting on the metal of your helmet. Very, very nice. I like this a lot. I think they did a very, very good job. Not everybody likes the uh, design of it, but for like a super-duper uh, handyman farmer guy, I think you look really, really cool, and I think Face Punch nailed it with this design. Now, we, we, we were talking about this, and now, will we potentially ever see the opportunity where uh, skin creators, obviously people not working directly under Face Punch, but like people in our community, will they be able to make their own hazmat suit skins eventually? And, oh, I've, oh, where am I? Here we are. Sorry about that. I moved into the wall. <laughs> um, do you reckon. So let's just get a nice tilt over to here. Mr. Micro, will the skin creators ever get the opportunity to make their own skins? Or do you feel like Face Punch wants to keep it special, wants to make it so that the only uh, the only skins we get for hazmat suits will only ever be by them, so that they can sell them for a fairly decent price? Yeah, it's a good question. My guess is uh, they're going to keep that for themselves. Uh, and Magma, no, the astronaut is the only marketable and tradable hazmat skin but it was not community submitted that's a custom model done by face punch yes they uh, that was the first skin that they made and it is marketable and tradable you are correct and for the longest time it was very valuable and then the nomad suit appeared <laughs> and then it wasn't so special after that but it's still loved and used by many people so that was when they first managed to make it uh skinnable and this is something we've been discussing because, like, what was the last skinnable item that they introduced? It was road sign gloves or the L96, and that was like a year and a half ago, wasn't it? So we haven't seen many new items recently become skinnable. And, of course, we want to keep an eye out for that because there's many more opportunities potentially to buy into some uh, skins and whatnot, new things to invest into. So that's... a Oh! Let's just get a nice look at your uh, back area. What is that supposed to be? Is that just like the the motor for all of Power your... Source, yeah. yeah? Pack. <laughs> you really are a mecha. So, uh, chat, um, do you like it? Do you approve? Chat, have you bought one of these yourself? Would you like to buy one yourself as well? He's looking very, very cool. Now, Mr. Micro, how about we get a look at the tools that also came with the collection? I would like to see your hatchet which we saw you in the introduction let's just get a nice zoom in on that and when we first saw the teasers for this i initially thought this was a salvaged axe i thought ah oh, sweet salvaged hatchet we're going to potentially see salvaged tools becoming a uh, new thing that's going to be uh, skinnable and then all the creators can start making fun designs but no this is just a regular salvage hatchet hammer. salvage hammer is skinnable but it's just never had a skin yeah, accepted. Not. Huh. Right. I mean, if they're going to do something like a, a miner set, even though this technically has mining tools, I would like for them to start doing some uh, salvage no, tools it's, skinnable. It's, that would be nice. Right. It's, it's, I'm thinking the, the ice pick. The, the hatchet yeah. and the hammer are not skinnable. The, yeah. the salvage pickaxe is. Yeah. But it would be nice to see the, uh, the, the hatchet 
and the hammer also getting True. skinnable options. Yeah, so that'd be cool. How about we look at the pickaxe, good sir? Can I get a good look at the pickaxe? Oh, so... Uh, yeah, oh. There's, so there's, there's sounds, sound effects too. There's new sounds for these. Yeah, they've introduced new sound effects. Now, does that apply to every single hatchet now? And, uh, and uh, whack that as well. Whack your pickaxe. So the pick and the hatchet sound the same. Okay, but is this only for this collection, or is this now for every single hatchet and pickaxe, is what I was asking. Ooh, yes. No, the, the OG hatchet and metal tools have the conventional sounds. Because they've been updating a whole bunch of uh, sound design recently. They've been updating loads of sounds. They've been updating loads of visuals. We've just seen the update for the, uh, the, the flames, so we'll look at the furnace in a bit. Um, they've updated the furnace flames, for example, and the fire flames and whatnot. And, yeah, that's something to keep an eye out for, because uh, it's going to start looking very, very nice. So here is the Lumberjack Pack DLC for the pickaxe. Looking very nice and sharp and pointy there. It's a bit small, isn't it? It's a bit small. What's the uh, size for the... Um... You know, I've heard that before. <laughs> it's really not what... The, it... It's not the size that matters, okay? It's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. So could you quickly bring in a pickaxe? I want to see a nice quick comparison of size. So that's what it looks like for the DLC pack one. And for the, a regular pickaxe, it looks like... So yeah, that's a lot bigger. That, that, yeah. Yeah. What's your opinion? Oh, I can really see the detail on that wood. I love this 3080 Ti. If size is important to you, then, you know, if, if, if really, if you're a size queen, then <laughs> you got to take your pick. But how about, um, I, like it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a nice, fresh look. I think it feels and looks good. Is it worth 13 bucks? That's up to you to decide, but. Oh yeah. Cause we do have to point out that the hazmat suit doesn't give you any special, uh, doesn't have any special stats or anything. It's just a reskin of the hazmat suit not like the all arctic these, yeah so all these items are reskinned yeah. can we quickly look at the stone tools so let's get a quick sure. look at that oh so we thought we first saw this in the uh in the sneak peek uh i remember first seeing it in the shadow Frax video and i initially thought surely surely that's a salvaged hatchet no that's a salvaged pickaxe oops i got that wrong salvaged pickaxe and I was really hyped up for potentially seeing um, seeing uh, the skins, th those becoming skinnable, and then we could probably see some very interesting designs. But nope, this is stone pickaxe. They are stone tools. But you know what? They look really, really cool. Can you just can you just quickly throw that? I mean, hit that? Yes. Awesome. Oh, and now he's thrown it away. I guess we're going to show off the uh, hatchet now. <laughs> So, as we can see, you get a nice quick look at all of that texture. How about we make it night time? The, the, the attack rate, everything about it, the gathering rate, the swing rate is all the same as the standard stuff. Looking very nice and sharp right there. Whack it, whack it, whack it. And uh, let's just get a nice side look. Yeah, the swing rate is like exactly the same. Perfect. So if I could just get one quick look at the side of it. Keep still. I know you're excited. <laughs> and yeah, the detail on it looks very, very nice. So, chat, $13. Is this what you're looking for? Do you want to look as magnificent as Mr. Micro? <laughs> right, so, uh, if I can just quickly transport to myself back over to here, I will bring up the uh, quick comparison. So, here's the regular hazmat. Get a quick look at all of the uh, information, the stats that we have here. Now, if we look at the Lumberjack, no difference. No difference. And the pro the reason why they probably kept it the same was because when we first saw the introduction of the Arctic suit, yeah, a lot of people complained about pay to win. Oh, the Arctic suit's too good. It's too good. Uh, change it back. Make it so it's only a reskin. But um, I think Face Punch tweaked it, but then decided that they want it to be special for the arctic and the snowy areas arctic suit does have different stats it is different and um it is technically paid to win for the cold environments yes you are correct mr magma so 
Are they ever going to potentially do this again in the future? Will we see maybe like a farming buff or maybe uh, uh, something good for the desert? <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. But for now, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing any more hazmat suits giving off any different types of special stat bonuses and whatnot. So, that is that, Mr. Micro. Do you want to take off that helmet so we can hear you properly? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is starting to get really hard to breathe. Hold on. Let me put on my normal setup here. Yeah. Oh, no clothes. What about oh, you? Oh, man, that is so much better. Wow, I can breathe. Ooh. So, chat, can you hear him perfectly fine now? Does he sound man. very nice? Does he sound okay? Just want to make sure, just before we start proceeding with the rest of the uh, stream. So, we've just shown off. Go on. That's the only downside. I think... I think this is pay to win when you consider, um, you know, it, it gives you a workout that like that breathing exercise here. I'll put it back on. You can hear <laughs> it's like, it's just so hard to talk. You know, it's hard to breathe. You know, it's like high altitude training, you know, then you come back down to normal, you know, you take the suit off and look, I can breathe normal. I can talk normal. I just feel so much better now. So I feel stronger. Oh, you you have to cut some wood. You you have too much fun. <laughs> Show it. Ah! Ah! Where is that? <laughs> you know, that's the third time that happened. When I during the intro, when that pig jumped up and I threw my hatchet at it for the killing blow, the hatchet disappeared. So I had to spawn in a new one in the middle of the intro. <laughs> and then just now, I threw the tool at you, the pickaxe, the stone pickaxe, and it disappeared. Oh, just now. I threw that, that stone tool and, and it hit your forehead and it just went away. No, don't drink it! Oh, now that one, that one's stuck in your chest. Yeah, I can see that. Can you pull it out? Can we start showing off the skins, please? Right, Here. I want... You can get me back if you want. I should actually get a quick inspection of this up close, so... Let's just get a nice quick look up close and see this new hatchet. I'm surprised they didn't do like you could saw against a tree. That would have been very cool. Like, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here's the uh, pickaxe. Let's get a nice quick look at that. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. And, uh, oh, not that yet. Let's throw that over there, too. You just hold on to that. Oh, so Yeah, see, it makes it easy to carry around. I don't even have to hold it. So, uh, yeah, let's get a quick look at that. I like the lighting in it. They did a very good job with the texturing here. How about you? And then... Oh, not that one. This one. And then we've got the pickaxe here. Looking... Oh, let's just get a nice quick side look. Are you still holding it? Yep. Sorry about that. It's up close. Get it in the light. Cool. Thank you very much, Mr. You... Micro. Did that disappear? Both of those stone tools disappeared. They before, did. Didn't they? They've disappeared. That's yeah, that's really. Oh, weird. is that a bug? I don't know. I think we like that's what I'm saying. We just I keep throwing them and they keep disappearing. Well, so... uh, at least you're. Uh, mi okay, let's not do this all stream. All right, well, there. That was the normal <laughs> one. All right, and there's the the new one. Yeah, and you can't one. and you can't pick it up. I could. All right, let's not dwell on this for too long. Yeah, let's start talking about the new skins. So, Mr. Micro, we have a furnace right here. Let me just uh, do something real quick. I've made a bit of a mistake. Let's do that. Let me just get all the details nice and ready, and we can start discussing the newest deployables. So, Mr. Micro, quite recently we did see this, because you looked at it in the workshop and you thought, Hedge, we've got to show this. This looks really, really cool. And I, I agreed. It was the same week we showed off the um, the green camouflage and the, uh, was it camouflage as well? I remember that. It was only like two or three weeks ago. So this right here is the uh, stump furnace made by Mr. Y9J. Looking very nice. Mr. Micro, could you please turn on the furnace? Because I want to see what it looks like at night time. And gentlemen. Sure. You know what? I should have kept some of that wood that I had. Yes, before. you shouldn't have thrown it on the floor. <laughs> I was just showing it off and I think it all despawned. Yeah. So, so chat. I get for flexing. Let's just get a nice quick look at all of this. How about we make it nighttime? Look at all of the detail. In fact, first of all, do you like the new fire particles? Do you look do you think 
that looks really really nice I think they did a very good job of that update but let's just get a nice quick look at this new furnace so it's got a really cool design uh, we've had a whole bunch of silly furnaces fairly recently with the likes of the uh, zucchini and of course the pineapple but just for a nice generally cool looking design I think Wine on Jay's done a really good job here, especially with all the detail and the texture. As we can see of the lighting here, reflecting on all of these... Uh, what's the word? I guess you could say, like, not tempered wood, but it's showing its age. And all of the carvings, it just looks really, really, really nice. I think he did a very, very cool job here. I'm very happy to see it being accepted, because he did a very, very good job. So yeah, I've said very, very good so many times. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but Mr. Wine on Jay, you did a very good job. It's nice. I did it again. Um, thank you for making it. Thank you for bringing us this. And I think it'll do quite well. And so far, as I showed you earlier, it's selling quite nicely in comparison to all of the other skins. Chat, what do you reckon? Um, Magma says it's going to be stonks. I think it's definitely going to do quite all right in the long term. Uh... Will we see some more interesting designs like this in the near future? I hope so, but we might end up seeing like a, I don't know, like a cucumber or an eggplant soon. We've seen so many weird fruit and vegetable skins for furnaces recently. <laughs> Mr. Micro, can you please turn it off? I'm going to now look at the, uh, what is this? The poor man's cardboard door. So, no loot inside. Ah, oh, well, maybe I don't want to raid now. So, this is created by a Mr. Oh, no, go away. So this is made by a Mr. Uh, Zeno. I'm not sure if this is his first skin accepted, but... Yes, it sure is. It is! Oh, well done, Mr. Zeno. So we've got a nice texture here. Uh, could you open it once more? Because when you opened it, you oh. could see... You could see, like, with real cardboard, it has the... Uh, I don't know what... The mesh inside it, I guess you could say. He's done a decent job the of that. Yeah. Corrugations, yeah. Corrugations, yeah. yeah. Actually, I... Of all of the cardboard skins, I think he actually did a good job of making sure he in incorporated real-world cardboard style to it. There was a few th other items I've seen on the workshop that had a cardboard look, but they weren't. They didn't. He didn't quite nail it the way he did. So I, I think he did a real good job on this. Congratulations on a first skin, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more from this guy. Yeah. Um, watch out with making cardboard armor and weapons. We've had a bit of a problem with that earlier this year. <laughs> We've already got two collections for it now. Mr. Micro, can you please close the door again? I want to just give it a nice quick look. So let's just get a quick look at it at night time. Uh, it does not glow in the dark. How does it look during dawn? Uh, well, you can't really see it that well. So here we are. Now, uh, no loot inside. I did say this initially when I first saw it. We do... Oh, have you turned the lights on? Oh, did you just turn them off or something? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I can't see it. I can't see it that well. And, uh, mm. well, that's a bit better at dawn. So, yeah, um, when I first saw this, I was unsure if people would really want it in terms of we've seen quite a lot of wooden door skins fairly recently in the past year. A streamer skin and earlier this year, all based on, hey, please don't raid me. I either have a job or I just don't have any loot. I'm poor or something. It's a common theme. Uh, obviously, I, it seems Face Punch is more than happy to keep adding things like this. But um, I wonder if we're going to see another one anytime soon. So, wooden door skins, how well do they normally do? Not very well. And I don't think we've got a door skin that came out this year that is currently in the positive. Wooden door skins, not the best of things to buy into. But as of now, that's the fourth best selling skin. So, best of luck to you, Mr. Zeno. And uh, we do hope to see more from you. So, if you're going to do full on tons of cardboard uh, deployables and whatnot. We do want to see that. So maybe not a furnace. That might be a bit thematically incorrect, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> so... Do a, a nighttime view of this. I put another light source there. Oh, yeah, there you go. That looks a whole lot better. Looking very sharp. Let's just get a quick look up there. you got a little bit of staining there as well. I didn't mention that, but like a bit of staining. You can see the... Uh, in interior bit of the cardboard there again and now Mr. Micro ah, <laughs> is using a torch so yeah looking very nice and yeah I like how the ink looks like it's kind of like accidentally flicked too much on that O and whatnot, and it's dripped so very cool design it definitely looks like something where someone's been a bit makeshift and just wanted to make a quick door so 
Very cool. Well done, Mr. Zeno. And now we'll move on to the body bag sheet metal door. Is that correct? This is called... No, it's called the science-based door. Wait, I... did they change the name of this? They did, didn't they? Can I just get a quick confirmation of that? This is called the body bag door. Yes, but if we go to the workshop, what's it called? Science-based door. Right, okay. Uh, right, right, right. So this does sometimes happen. They change the names of some of these. There might be a science... Uh, there already might be a science-based door that already exists. So sometimes names do have to be changed. So just wanted to add some clarification there. I was a bit confused. So this is officially called the body bag sheet metal door. And when I first saw this, I saw the original design. And it was a, it was just see-through and plain. It wasn't that interesting. But what, with what we see here, made by a Mr. Schumer. There's two more people, but Schumer was the main one. Sorry to the other people. Um, they've done a much better design in terms of just kind of showing off the encasing of what appears to be potentially a body. The fabric looks really cool. The bump mapping. Look at this reflection as I slowly tilt to the left. That's a great design. And uh, is this Schumer's first skin, Mr. Micro? Just to clarify, I I don't I don't recognize the name. I thought this was Oasis's skin. I think Oasis has been around for a while doing. Wrestling. Yeah, so he was one of the other people that helped make it. I I believe they've given it to Schumer to be the main creator. We've seen this before, um, but. Yeah, Oasis is probably the main creator. Um, this it's... is Shuma's first accepted skin. So congratulations to you, uh, you three as a group. And uh, Shuma, I like the design of it. Could we see some double doors, maybe? Could we see, uh, I don't know, some deployables? I'm not sure where else you could take this, but I am interested. So nice design. It's selling very nicely. Let's see how well it plays out over the course of the rest of this week. Congratulations on getting your skin uh, accepted. Now, Mr. Micro, shall we move on to the double door? Wow. So, Mr. Micro, we were having a bit of a talk last week when we were looking at the uh, the room door, weren't we? The uh, the room door storage uh, door, double door. Sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm remembering everything uh, a bit by bit. So, here we have the Constellations double sheet metal door made by Mr. Quincy. Uh, you might know him from making the Outer Planets collection. I'm surprised this got accepted, not as Outer Planets double door. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? So how about we just go to nighttime? And yeah, so look at that ever so nice looking neon lighting with all the stars, the constellations. A very nice flavour win right here. And the extra bit, you can see all the railing that's holding up the neon signs, the neon uh, lighting and whatnot. So that's also a very nice design choice there. Very good job there, Mr. Cavenzi. Now, Mr. Micro, just last week we were discussing the potential of seeing maybe some more double double door skins. All of them, wood, sheet, armour. It just didn't seem like it was likely going to be happening anytime soon. Lo and behold, just in the past seven days, I guess you could say, We've seen the room double sheet metal door, uh, the storage room du uh, double sheet metal door. We've seen the streamer lab, uh, streamer, what's it called? Streamer land. Is that, let, let me just reiterate that. Yep, streamer land event double door. And now we've got Cavenzi's door right here, the constellation door. So in terms of investments, I think that storage room door might be struggling for a while because mm. um, the idea of it didn't really uh, get attached to that many people. They didn't seem to be like i like the idea of it but uh i don't want to give away my like my, where i keep all my valuables so maybe it might suffer but if we don't see any more double sheet metal doors for the rest of this year both of them should do quite all right it is very weird though that we don't see any double sheet metal doors for such a long time lo and behold we get two one week after the other as well as a free one given away during a twitch event so quite funny quite silly but I'm happy. I like to see this. I like to see items that don't get that many skins getting skins. And this year, we for the longest time, we did not see sheet double doors getting any skins. But lo and behold, 
face punch seems to have opened up a bit. And with Halloween, we potentially might be seeing some other potential items that haven't had skins in a long time getting skins as well. So we'll talk about Halloween skins in a bit. We've got to go through all of the this week's skins still, and of course the workshop skins. So, Mr. Micro, I do believe after sh talking about and showing off all of the deployables, we can start discussing the weapons. Um... You know you can. I I can't I can't. It's stuck in you. I can't take it's that stuck, out. Right? I can't take it out. Not either. <laughs> um, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of my life. It's like a tattoo. Uh. All right. Okay. Not well, a very good one. <laughs> Mr. Micro, would you like to strike a pose? I'm gonna show off the elite crate. Assault rifle. So let's go to daytime, get a real quick look at this. And this is a bit of a subject to talk about, isn't it, Mr. Micro? So, fairly recently, we've had complete the sets, and of course, we would expect some fairly old skins from notable collections getting some new skins accepted. It's, it's the whole point of the event. But just before complete the sets actually properly started, and just after, and this past week, it's not even September as well, let me point out, we've seen some extra late skins being accepted. This AK in particular was introduced and submitted to the workshop on December 2020. It's been in the workshop for a long time, and we're a bit confused, aren't we? Face Punch seems to have changed their mind in regards to uh, when or how long ago, how long they'll pick, how far back they'll pick skins. Now, is it probably still because we're fairly close to complete the sets? Maybe. But after Halloween, if we still see some older skins still being accepted, I think we might have to consider that uh, we should be expecting one very random old skin being accepted every now and then. What do you reckon? That'd be nice, actually. I think that's a good principle. Um, if they were to just... I don't know if it has to be every week or, or you know, a few times a month. Go back and just go over and revisit the uh, older submitted works and reevaluate. You know, maybe some things that were submitted at the time that got passed up. Nice details. Maybe they fit better now. Maybe they. Um, maybe there's more justification at this time than there was at you know in the past. So, I think that's a very viable and very sensible thing to do if they were to re regularly do it rather than have a complete the sets week, which is honestly a bit disruptive, and unnecessary if they were just to incorporate one item for each rotation or every other rotation i think that would do a lot to go towards um smoothing things out and also shaking things up at the same time i know that sounds contrary or contradictory but um i think that would be a very cool concept if they were to try that so oh hang on a minute does it glow in the dark can you walk in the darkness ever so slightly? Um, the, the Does it glow? Well, where'd you go? I don't see any glowing parts. Look at the stat track. Sorry, I've lost my position here. Mr. Micro, please come back to me. Um, I guess it just reflects light very nicely. Did you did you spot that, chat? The, uh, the stat track nodule right there. It reflects light very nicely. So if you move ever so slightly back into the darkness... Yeah, it just reflects light. Okay, right. Okay, right. I got. I I figured out what's going on. So uh, it looked like it was glowing. Um, I was surprised by that because we recently did just have a bit of a discussion with the uh, glow in the dark, uh, obsidian, uh, python and whatnot. So um, I thought, oh, could that be helpful? But probably not. So, <laughs> uh, come on, come back and strike a pose in the right position with this uh, ever so annoying uh, bull rush. Is that what you call them? What's those reeds called? <laughs> I'd probably call that a cattail. I think. All right. Uh, well, he's American. I'm I'm English. So we'll probably have different names. So, yep. Yeah, nice design. Congratulations to Odyssey for creating this skin a year and a half ago and then getting accepted now. <laughs> but uh, I don't think he's complaining. And that's your skin right there for three dollars forty nine. I wonder if it's going to do all right afterwards. Hmm, AK skins. We'll have to discuss that for the 48-hour analysis. So, any other words, Mr. Micro? Are you satisfied with your ever-so-lovely-looking green AK? 
I would like it better if I didn't have a hatchet through my jaw, but... Um, well, you know, life I, life's just cruel, isn't it? That's true. Yeah. In weird ways. Uh, I would like to confirm that, yes, uh, it's also known as a bull rush. <laughs> I did not know that, but that's what Google tells me. <laughs> I would call it a cattail. <laughs> and I would also like to say that that door, the body bag door... Yes. I was saying, like, oh, that's... I thought that was Oasis skin. Like, as if I see his name all the time, and you know what? I actually think that's his first accepted skin as well. Oh, is it? So, oh, yeah. That's it's a double congratulations. Yeah. It, I, I didn't realize that. So, uh, looking back at his profile, it's, it's the only accepted skin I see. So, good job. Nice. I, sh I should reiterate. I should reiterate because I, 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 it's all of their skin. When I'm looking on SEMM, I normally click this and, uh, oh, so it's Oasis that says he has it. But then when you look at the workshop, there's a group of them. So, let's just be, let's just make sure they all get their, their uh, limelight or whatever you call it. Schumer, Oasis, Daltonic, Graphics. Congratulations to you three. Congratulations in getting your first skin accepted. And just to confirm, we'll just quickly go see the uh, the workshop items. And yeah, there you go. Oh no, wait, that was, was that still version two? No, that was the original version. Yeah, I talked about this. So yeah, um, I don't. Th I think I might have gotten this mixed up with something else because I saw something very similar to it that was see through. Um, translucent, I guess you could say. Right then. So with that. We'll talk about the other old pick. So this is the Venomous LR300. Venomous collection was fairly popular earlier this year. Case in point, earlier this year. Uh, this originally was submitted back in May 2022. And it's made by a Mr. Andre. Just give it a nice aim. No helpful colour, colourful uh, aim sight there. Shooty, shooty. Reload. Looking nice. So... It's been a while. We haven't seen that many LR300 skins for quite some time. We used to see them a lot, and then there was like a three-month period where we just didn't really see that many. And, well, here you go. So, uh, Mr. Micro, strike a pose. Chat, do you like your LR300 skins? Do you like investing in LR300 skins? Uh, it's just so hilarious looking at your head. <laughs> I have to try and avoid looking at you, Mister Micro. So let's just get a nice. Don't look at me. I'm hideous. <laughs> I'm hideous. You know what I'm gonna do? Wait. If I put on the um the lumberjack suit, you think it'll still show the hatchet? Maybe. Uh, it does. It does. Now you. Right. Yeah. Now you yeah. look. You, yeah. you, can I just quickly say you look like one of those uh, Victorian? Oh, what are they called? Do you know the. Uh... Plague doctors. You look like a plague doctor right now. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, with the, with the beak sticking out. Yeah. That would be cool. Ah, uh, face punch. Halloween that next be... year. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, you fixed oh, it. <laughs> okay. Now you can put your beard back on. Oh, put some clothes on, good sir. Right. Face punch. All right. There Pla we go. Plague doctor hazmat suit skin. Yes, that's what we need. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Anyway. You know, Hedge, it's, it's not Halloween yet. There's still time for There's that. There's still time. Sure. Well, Face Punch, if you've got the time, I've given you the idea. <laughs> right then, let's get a nice quick look. Oh, hang on a minute. Um, so, it's getting nice and close. Blue to green to yellow to orange to red. Now, let's just get a nice twirly, twirly all the way around. So, Mr. Micro, um, I should have. I think I asked this last week or the week before. Uh, with LR 300s, how easy are they to obtain? Because I know you can just straight buy them, but in terms of actually getting them in, in a uh, in a in a in a case, a drop and whatnot, how likely are you uh, to get them? Because one of my criticisms with yeah. these skins, I, I I think it's not it's not that hard to get an LR. I mean, it's not the same as an AK where. You basically have to go to oil rig, but um, or do a lock crate or whatnot. But um, yeah, you could go buy one, or I think they're more lootable than a AK. So I'll double check that while you continue talking here. But you I think you get your information. Is, is AK is more desirable on account of it does more damage. So LR just doesn't have the damage output. You know, the same DPS as a as an AK. It's it's CSGO all over again. <laughs> um, but anyway, 
uh, my point my point was these aren't super easy to come by. So when you think in terms of gun demand, uh, how likely am I actually going to be able to uh, actually get this and use it and whatnot? It's not that high compared to the many other weapons, which are more feasible, more easy to get, craftable and whatnot. Well, they're going to probably prefer those ones. They have better gun demand. So the LR300's gun demand is a bit not that high. And because of that, people don't want to invest into owning an LR300 skin. It doesn't have high demand to be used. Therefore, it doesn't have a high demand to use the skin. Therefore, the skins don't really go up that high. And they tend to suffer pretty badly. So I like the skin. I do worry for if it's going to be an okay investment, though. That's... That's what I'm worried about. So, chat, what do you reckon? Do you like the design of it, but do you want to buy it? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I like it a lot, but as as an investor, I do have to be cautious for these very similar patterns. A new LR300 comes out. A week later, it's probably lost most of its value, which is unfortunate, because I think he's done a very good design here. Venomous collection was cool. And you know what? With this being accepted, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more potential Venomous skins appearing in the workshop from now on. But maybe not soon, soon, because uh, on the 20th and the 27th, Halloween Rustle rotations will be happening. And those carvable pumpkins will be back. Yes! So, we'll, get, we'll wait out for that. So, congratulations on getting the skin accepted. Mr. Micro, proceed. I have stats here. Oh, <laughs> Go on. <laughs> on, on acquirability. Would you like to hear them? Yes, please. So we're going to compare. We're comparing the LR and the assault rifle. There are more places to get an LR in terms of loot drops, and this is data that I'm I'm referencing Rust Labs right now. Rustlabs.com. This is where I'm getting all the information I'm delivering here. So the LR can be acquired from a lock crate, a supply drop. A heli crate, an APC crate, also known as a Bradley crate, an underwater lab elite crate, a heavy scientist, or a regular elite crate. Now, the list is almost identical for the AK. Um, the only exception is that the LR can be retrieved from a supply drop, and according to this list, the AK cannot. And I'm not sure I've ever gotten an AK in a supply drop, so I, I would back that up. But the the odds are different. So a locked crate has a 4% chance of dropping an LR and a 19% chance of dropping an AK. So if you're just talking about one specific uh, source, which is a locked crate, that's like a, a cargo or a, a Chinook crate, you know, something like that, you have a 4% chance of getting an LR and a 19% chance of getting an AK. So from that source, yeah, it's actually probably more likely that you'll get an AK. Um, but if you're talking about a supply drop, I think the odds are better that you're getting an LR. Uh, a Bradley crate, you have a 0.3% chance of getting an LR and a 1% chance of getting an assault rifle. It basically triple the odds that you're going to get a an AK. Yeah. Right, in one of those crates. So if the they is one's craftable, one's not in the old setup, the recoil was dramatically different. The LR was much easier to shoot. Now things are a little different. And we also have to take this with a grain of salt because Rust Labs is very reliable, but I don't know if they have these percentages worked out like exactly or if they're up to date. So we're just trusting in the information they have here. Well, I mean, I mean, if they increased the potential to find it, if they made it so you could craft it, I think the skins would benefit greatly. But it's the mechanics that they wanted to put into the game. They wanted to have some weapons be bought and only earned in certain ways. And well, unfortunately, it seems people do prefer the AK because they're better used to it. And it seems to have much better damage potential. And over the past few years, people got very good with uh, its recoil. And then, of course, they changed it. And now it's easier. So <laughs> the recoil, <laughs> we saw the MP5 die in terms of uh, usage and investments for its skins. But the AK 
stuck with it and it's still doing all right. But its skins are so oversaturated, um, it's its own problem. And the LR300 just seems to have never improved or changed or whatever. It's just, yeah, uh, people just aren't using the skins as much and they aren't wanting to buy them. So I And, and considering the LR does 20% less damage per shot, yeah. Although it does have a high, a slightly higher rate of fire, but per bullet, it does 20% less damage. That's a big deal and a big push for people to use the AK. What is its accuracy like, though? Does it recoil that much? Because this... Uh, the recoil is is reportedly... Uh, they give it a, a number of four versus the AK, which they give a number of six. Uh, so uh, this would... I made an analogy. This is like CSGO, where... Um... AK on T side, much more powerful. Um, but on uh, on CT side, uh, counter terrorists, they uh, they have the M4, which is a whole lot more accurate, more reliable. But with the AK, you can get a one shot kill headshot. The the M4 can't on the CT side. You have to shoot twice. So, you know, there's preferences, and but it's it's the input mechanics they decided to have this, and this is what Face Punch has done with their. Uh, you know, approachability and being being able to find the LR300. So if they made changes in the future, then we can start making moves. And I would be there prepared to tell you about it. Ah! Stop it! Ugh. Fine, we'll move on. Alright, 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 alright! Yeah, you can hear it's a slightly higher rate of fire. Yeah, and, yeah, um, wonderful. Did it, feel, did it feel more powerful? Oh, <laughs> Uh, if you're comparing the, the recoil pattern, I mean, the AK is so easy to shoot now. Uh, <laughs> LR feels like it has a, almost like more aim cone to it, or more randomness. Something. Can I can I talk about the double barrel shotgun? Hey, does it sound good to you? Uh, I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Can you? <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> Modern military double barrel shotgun made by Mr. Robstar. We've been seeing a whole bunch of military uh, skins being accepted fairly recently over the past year. Robstar, congratulations on the next one. And we that's another thing. This is this is kind of annoying me. We haven't seen any pump shotgun skins this year, but the double barrel has got like 10. So let's just give it a nice quick inspection. Looking very cool. And as you've mentioned before, the aim sight cannot be colored different. It always has to be that r weird red mm -hmm. tint. So that's yep. always fixed. That cannot be changed. So shoot, bang, reload, cool. And now I'll go stare at Mr. Micro. So Mr. Micro, strike a pose, take a quick look at you. And as we can see, we've got a very nice, cool looking design all of the military weapons do look rather cool they've got a nice what kind of brown would you call this uh like a coyote tan sort of yeah it's got like it, it is like a desert camo style yeah yeah because you, you can kind of see that there in the base right there where it's supposed to be different shades of brown all blended in and whatnot so Cool design. I'm not sure why he's calling this modern military. So he released all of the clothing pieces and whatnot, called it military collection. But then he uh, he started calling his weapons and tools fairly recently modern military. But it's all part of the same collection. So I don't know. And uh, it looks like... Um, actually, I have to tab out real quickly and see it for myself. Are they calling it modern military in-game as well? No, it's just called military. So... Not sure what the crate is up to there, but um, eh, it's nothing wrong. So we'll take a quick look. And yep, looking very, very nice. So yeah, double barrel shotgun. Keeps getting tons of skins this year, but pump doesn't. Water pipe got one, and that was for Chinese New Year. So things are really strange because a lot of people are buying the pump shotgun skins at the moment due to the slugs. And I was really hoping to see maybe some pump shotgun skins would be accepted soon. Nope. So, skin creators out there, <laughs> make pump shotgun skins, please. Uh, for Halloween, oh, that would be very nice. But uh, just giving you ideas, just giving you ideas. I'm seeing a shortage of pump shotgun skins and a bit of oversaturation with all of these double, double barrel shotgun skins. I'd like to see some variety, as I said. Very happy to see the likes of Double Door skins being accepted. But can we please start seeing some weapons getting some uh, extra additions? So, very nice. Very cool. 
coo coo coo. And I do believe that's everything except Mr. Micro. Can we get a look at you with the newest poncho on? So, uh, let's just quickly make sure I've gone through everything. I do believe I have. This is the last thing to showcase. Uh, this is the Chainmail Armor Poncho made by Legacy. So, uh, do you remember last week when I made a bit of a joke to say how uh, Mr. Micro, when he was wearing the blackout uh, poncho, it kind of looked like he was, uh, uh, what's the word, burlesque? Uh... Uh, fr frilly, oh, what do you call it? Netting, netting, oh, what do you call it, Mr. Micro? I've completely forgotten the word for the type of clothing. Uh, ne ne uh, fishnets. fishnets, that's it, fishnets. Well, lo and behold, we've now got a chainmail uh, poncho. So, poncho skins used to be a very rare sight to see, and now we've seen three in the past five weeks. Bit crazy. Um, not too good for all of these skins because with so many that have been sold fairly recently, um, bit of a problem because, well, we were oversaturated. Oh, wow, look at the light on that. That looks very nice. Good job there. The reflection of the light looks really cool. So the uh, Arctic Camo Poncho sold a ridiculous amount. And now it's struggling on the market with almost a thousand quantity at the moment. Blackout Poncho sold just a fair bit more, but it is part of the Blackout collection, so it might be doing all right in the long term. But in the short term, uh, we saw some people trying to pump it. We saw one guy dump, dump 500 on the market, then he removed it fairly quickly. So with this one now appearing, I think people are scratching their heads and a bit worried in, in regards to, oh no, is this... Uh, am I am I going to lose money? I invested so much into the blackout and the uh, and the Arctic Camo Poncho. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Well, this is what happens when we see a item get far too many skins uh, in such a short amount of time. There could be problems. That was what I was trying to highlight with the double sheet metal door skins, uh, with the storage room door, the constellation, and the free streamerland double door. That could potentially have a hamper on the potential profits that the uh, constellation and the storage room double door skins might have. So I like the design of it. It's cool. I know we have chainmail uh, tier three chestplate, don't we? But that's not connected to this creator, is it? It's a bit of a homage, I guess you could say. Homage? Is that how you pronounce it? Homage? Uh, homage. Homage. I do, I do think you're right that um, it bears a bit of resemblance to the chainmail chest plate and perhaps was even inspired by it. Um, I think it may appeal to people who would like to have the chainmail chest plate but maybe can't afford it. Yeah. Or, right? Um, I could see why it might have of like a um, just some appeal for the cool factor or what the idea represents. Although I would call into question the uh, execution of the idea. I don't think it's as clean as it could be. It's to be honest, it looks a little sloppy. But I don't want to be too negative about it. It's a cool idea, and it's just the timing is really the biggest thing working against it. Because, like you said, we've had an influx of poncho skins lately and between the uh the three that we just had plus we had one or two streamer ponchos and yeah we've just got a lot more options nowadays for ponchos and chainmail i don't know where that really fits into the desirability spectrum i think blackout whiteout make a lot of sense even the gray you know the um just put it this way. The ones that we've seen so far, I think, are sensible and fit a certain aesthetic and camouflage type of mindset. This one, I don't know. Can you see this blending in anywhere? No. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> it's a cool design, but I don't know. Uh, night roleplay? <sighs> Do you know what I mean? Like, people going to want to dress up at nights and run around and... I don't know. Um, it'll probably go well with Knights Templar. It'll probably go well with that. Yeah, maybe. But, um, yeah, does it have a home? I I reckon, well, at the moment it hasn't sold that much, and it doesn't look like it's going to sell too much in comparison to the previous two ponchos that we've recently had. 
but mm, is it going to hold? Is this something people are going to look at and think, yeah, everybody's going to want to run around in that? Again, poncho skins, ponchos. Is everybody going to be running around in a poncho all the time? Probably not. So, yeah, let's see how that plays out. Let's see what happens. But we've had three poncho skins in the past five weeks. It, let's let's just take a step back and probably just wait and see how this is going to progress on the market for a while. It's abnormal, so we don't need to rush into uh, into buying it. But yeah, this is like the problem we had with Skull Killer. Um, when we had all the weapons, we didn't really see what what could blend well with it. And eventually, what blended well with it was uh, Skull Killer clothing and armor. Well, there you go. He, the creator had to add more. So maybe Legacy could potentially make some uh, chainmail hide armor or something. So that's a potential idea. The uh, Mr. Demon made uh, Arctic camo hide armor uh, for his uh, collection. We were crossing our fingers, hoping to see that potentially being accepted didn't happen so far so we'll just have to wait and see but to add more value to it mr legacy would have to probably make some more chainmail skins so chainmail hoodie and pants i guess let's wait and see let's see what sounds happens heavy that sounds very heavy <laughs> chainmail gloves you know, you know what's funny is it costs 15 leather to make a poncho poncho made out of uh woven steel rings yeah so. <laughs> Let, oi, stop, do quest, the math. stop questioning you the do game. The math. Stop, tell, tell me how that adds up. Stop questioning the game. Right, Mr. Micro, shall we move on to uh, discussing next week's? Uh, not next week. We don't have. We don't know what's happening next week. <laughs> oh, they're on trust. Um, so um, <laughs> we've got some continuations of collections that already exist. That's. That's... Oh, wait, hang on a second. Wait. I want to point something out. I just noticed. Uh, in my inventory <laughs> model, in, in, go back into your inventory and look at your your character model wearing the poncho. It looks a lot different in the preview, doesn't it? It does. It looks darker, and it looks like it has a bit more... Uh, it's a bit thicker. More filled in. Yeah. yeah more... Right? That's interesting. Something I've never noticed before. Is that a different model, or is it just bad lighting, do you reckon? I think it's just the way they've, they're have they rendering it in the preview. Yeah, that's odd. Good eye there, Mr. Micro. So, we discussed one LR300 just a bit earlier, now I have another one. Retro Blast LR300, made by Mr. Jimic. I don't know how to pronounce his name properly, my apologies. Uh, I it... think that's a reasonable attempt. Jimic, Eximic, uh... He'd have to tell me. <laughs> so, LR300, looking cool. Nice design. Uh, Retro Blast has done fairly good fairly recently. How many skins have we had so far? We've had the uh, Thompson. We've had the AK. We've seen some attempts to potentially get more. The L uh, L96 and what, uh, whatnot. I like that, but it wasn't accepted. So, we'll see. So, quick shooty-shooty. Got a nice blue aim sight, which should be helpful for quite a lot of environments. Bang, 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 bang. Reload. Looking very nice. Mr. Micro, can I get... A nice quick look at you holding the LR three hundred. Let's get a nice zoom in on you, Mister Micro. Hello. Oh wow. Uh, Time Bandit. Uh, sorry, Time Bandit in the chat has a great suggestion. Chainmail gloves. I, I, I think that would be great. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be good a per suggestion. perfectly fine idea, Mister uh, Mister Time Bandit. That is a good idea. Um, so, hello people, how are you doing? Do you like the design of this LR300? Would you like to run around with more Retro Blast LR300 skins? I personally would. I like the... It's not simple, but it's fairly grounded in its design, and it's not trying to be overly wacky, overly crazy. It's just a nice, simple aesthetic. Mr. Meta, be more crit critical. Don't be, like, straight to the point blunt. Come on now. If you don't like it, elaborate. But it's just because it's not for you doesn't mean it's not going to be for everybody else, all right? So I like it. I like the design. I like the simplicity in terms of its style. But, yeah, I like what it's going for. Oh, wow, I can really see the painting there. Oh, can you see that and the lighting? That's magnificent. I love this 3080 Ti. 
what a great purchase. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no more stuttering. Can you, can you get can you get somewhere back position the camera over the stock and look down the barrel? You can see a nice red ghost ring aim sight with a blue front sight post. I see the red. Let's see if I can <laughs> yeah, you don't have to look all the way down through it, but you could get up closer to the front side post and show the blue that's on there. Yeah, I see the blue, I see the red. I didn't notice the red when I was looking at it. Hang on a minute. So, yep, yeah, no helpful glow in the dark aim sight. Yep, no. So, uh, oh yeah. I, I, do you know what? We had that discussion last week with things that might put you off. I didn't even realise it was red. I didn't even look. <laughs> My eyes. Oh my! I didn't even notice. That was weird. But again, how you, how you, where where you place your colouring and whatnot, good. So yeah, um, that's the uh, that's that discussion of talking about the saw from the the bullseye saw because that design that he had in the in the foreground it, it was it was a bit odd. Um, one might ben uh, one benefit might be it's difficult to see whether someone is wearing a poncho at all. Um. I don't think you're going to see your the way rust works is that depending on how close you are to the thing you're looking at, you're going to be presented with one of multiple different models showing different levels of detail. And up close, you're seeing that high res, highly detailed look. When you get further away, the models get simplified and all of that little aspect of transparency and all the, the the shiny details that give it that texture of looking kind of like snow or whatever or having a light a lightish color i think as you get further away from that as the level of detail sets in you're going to lose a lot of that transparent aspect or all right hedge if you want you can you can go look you can fly a distance from me i'll put on the poncho we can just test that but um, i think as as you get further away you're you're gonna it's just gonna look like a blob yeah it's not gonna it's not gonna disappear can you from there can you use your debug cam to just like right zoom on me like a ton yep so i've got hello how are you doing <laughs> how you doing uh, what do you, do you want me to zoom in even more? I don't think I can. Well, yeah, tell me what you think. I mean, does that does that look less like I'm wearing a poncho? No, it looks like you're wearing a poncho. I know what it is. Yeah. So, because it goes over your shoulders, that's the key point. You can notice that it goes over your shoulders. That's usually a good indicator that he's obviously wearing a poncho. So, yes, that's what I no, think. It, it, as can you continue backing away from me? Mm. Yes, I can. So, if I were to uh, press uh, O and L and... Oh! Ah! Okay. Yeah. How much further back? Here? More? <laughs> until, the, until the level of detail drops off, yeah. Okay, there we go. So, if I press O now... Neom. Oh, I can't even see you. In fact, you've completely uh, disappeared. <laughs> okay, so that means you got to get a little closer. Yeah, all right. Load back in, damn you. Right, this should be reasonable enough. Yeah, that's that's pay to win if it makes me disappear. Right? <laughs> uh, are you wearing a white hoodie? Yeah, because Hyper wouldn't shut up about uh, the 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 whiteout, the whiteout, the whiteout. It. I don't think it changes anything. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I don't. I don't mean that as a dig at you. I think it's worth investigating, but I think it's. Um, yeah, I don't think it changes anything. All right, then. Ah, all right, coming back. Hello. I still love you, Hyper. I'm just fooling around. Okay, it's all good. Don't worry, buddy. We're, we're, we're here to help you. We don't want you being confused. All right, I was looking at the lightweight hammer, and I noticed it's reflecting light, which is cool. I was wondering if it was like a, ham uh, like a mirror. So I was trying to see if it was reflecting the light of objects near me and it doesn't seem like it's doing that i think it's just reflecting 
I don't know. I'm standing here now, and it's starting to notice. I don't know. How's it? It's gonna it's gonna pick up any light sources in the game. So like the stage lights here, you'll see it reflects those. Uh, it'll be reflecting the sun. It's not going to produce an image in its reflection, but it's yes, going to right to the lighting. Right? So, Mr. Micro, if you can, can you please wield that hammer, and we'll discuss hammer skins because where are the hammer skins? We haven't seen a hammer skin since March, and that annoys me. That annoys me a lot. So, we haven't seen a hammer skin since the beginning of March. It is now the beginning of October. I am annoyed. It's been seven months. Give me a good reason why I'm not getting a hammer skin. Now, chat, let me tell you, if we see a new hammer skin randomly appear, I will straight up tell you, yeah, this is probably a really good thing to uh, invest into. Because, well, all of them got bought out. Go look at all the hammer skins right now. Go take a look and see how well all of them are performing. The vast majority have been bought out. Now, some of them might have got started to go down a bit because we are seeing the trend of skin prices going down. But hammer skins, due to the fact that we simply have not seen any new ones for such a long time, all the cheaper ones got bought out. So, yeah, I would like to see more. But the longer we wait for more, the more higher all the currently existing ones are going to go up in price. So let's just get a quick look at you at night time. And looking very nice there. And we'll just take a nice slow zoom around. Very good job here, Mr. Rob Star, with your lightweight collection. We've enjoyed it so far. Mr. Mr. Rob Star, try and do another hoodie and pants. <laughs> if you can. If you're going to go back to lightweight, give it another shot to try and get the hoodie and pants accepted. We would. Yeah, I think it's a good call. That It's a great call. Damn it. It's a great call. So, uh, very nice hammer skin. I appreciate that a lot. And I like the lightweight collection a lot. We, I like the I like the tools that we looked at last week. The uh, stone tools, micro. There's a chicken. Destroy him. So whilst micro dispatches um, of, uh, are you not going to do it? Very well. well. I mean, there's not very many humane ways to do this. Oh yes, there is. I've got a. Well, I mean, I I do have one solution. Although I don't know if you're going to like it. What is it? I I do have a uh, a chicken disposal tool that I'm carrying with me. <laughs> it's alright, I scared it's him off animal friendly, it's animal friendly oh go on, oh, I, I, I also have a chicken disposal, do you want to race each other to try and destroy him, he's run off now he knows what's up <laughs> <laughs> it's alright it's alright, let's discuss our chicken disposal uh, rocket launchers aka the, ca the camouflage rocket launcher so, as predicted with the camouflage collection being accepted for complete the sets, Mr. Milho Frito has decided to continue the camouflage collection. As we can see right here, I've got a camouflage rocket launcher. Last week we saw the sheet metal door. Will he continue this? Well, he probably wants to see what gets accepted, and if they don't, he's probably going to call it quits for a while. So let's just get a nice aim on you. No special aim sights. Shoot you in the sky. Kaboom! And I hope the neighbours aren't too mad about that one. Oy, there we go. So, very nicely done. Very nicely done. So, Mr. Micro, strike a pose. Let's take a look at you. Oh, you put that rocket in perfectly. So, how about you look to the side and shoot it? Congratulations, Mr. Micro. Looking very nice. You just... Uh, invisible rocket <laughs> so looking very cool very sharp nice design it's like I don't know what to say like a rug like texture like what you'd have on a rug yeah, but, uh, yeah it does kind of look like a rolled up carpet sort of yeah and then we've got the belt the leather belt wrapped around oh, it's all good it's nice to see it in motion so you've got one udder <laughs> to hold on to <laughs> and uh, at night time let's get a quick look you can see a much if you could hold still Mr. Micro a much better view of that texture I was talking about so if I could just get a nice bit of a zoom yeah you can see that I'm sure you understand what I mean I'm not crazy and if you could turn to the other side Mr. Micro slow okay fast <laughs> uh we got the udders over there we got the belt right there and we've got some sort of milk 
Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, you're, you're about to get absolutely milked. <laughs> so I, yeah, yeah. Milk cannon, yeah. <laughs> right then, uh, back to me. What do we have next? Rocket launchers, they look to be perfectly okay in best... Yeah. So, <laughs> in terms of uh, rocket launcher skins, um, they we don't see many of them, especially recently. We've only had the antique rocket launcher, which did okay. Not insane, but it did okay. Um, I hope it could do better. I really do, but it's sort of struggling at the moment. But if we don't see another rocket launcher skin for a while, much like with the hammers, they're just all going to end up going up in price. Which we, which we did see before we saw the appearance of the antique rocket launcher. So, we have right here the JPEG crossbow. So, Mr. GBG, continuing his J uh, JPEG collection. No tier... F what is it? Tier 2 armor? Just No, we've got the tier 2. We saw the tier 3. We're waiting potentially to see the clothing. But it's probably best for him... If if he didn't do the clothing so soon because we do have the Halloween rustle rotations happening soon so for now more weapons looking very cool looking very cool give that a quick little uh, oh, inspection and over to Mr. Micro Mr. Micro strike a pose take a look up and down right oh I hit the wall ouch so Fairly tame design as per usual. It is your. Uh, I've, I keep forgetting the name of this design. Cell shaded. Perfect. Right. Oh, hang on a minute. Is that. Is that. A texture issue? If you could hold still, Mr. Micro. Chat, do you see this? Do you see how that weird bolt bit there doesn't really connect? With, actually, no, it's the corner. No, that's all texture. I see. I wonder what happened there. Uh, well, other than that, still looks perfectly reasonable. Nice design, Mr. G uh, Mr. GBG. Uh, you have your light on, thank you very much, with a laser. Why do you need a laser on a crossbow, Mr. Micro? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Sure, sure. Smoke that is... them if you got them. Okay, so, uh, nice way of thinking. Nice, cool design. Hope to see more JPEG collection skins, Mr. GBG. So, yeah, very, very cool, very, very nice. So, next skin to discuss, it is the continuation of the Obsidian collection. Does this glow in the dark? It does. Oh, ever so slightly. I can see that. Can you, chat? Chat, can you see the glow in the dark? Can you see it's got the ever so slight noticeable edges oh yeah you can see that quite easily can you see that in the bottom so if i go from night time yeah keep an eye on that main stock bit now we're at day uh, night time there you go can you see that all the outer edges and whatnot if he's going to keep doing this there's eventually going to be one weapon that's going to greatly benefit oh hang on a minute can you see all right I, I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to represent this, but can you see where the gold aim sight is? This is to you, Mr. Micro. Look at its left panel with the opposite to the two bolts just below the gold panel, uh, the gold aim sight. Now look at it at night time. Can you see that? That's very close to the aim sight. So do you see the pointy arrow bit? Now look to the left. Can you see that ever so slight Glow in the dark on the left lip bit. That's incredibly close to the aim sight. Now, is it going to be helpful? Eh. <laughs> well, that's debatable. Can you see that for yourself, Mr. Micro? If I were to I tab out and then... Right. Am I able to keep my mouse? I can't. So, I've if I've got, if I've got the gun right there, all right... And if I were to tab, if you can look, do you see where I'm circling, right? Keep your eyes on this position. I'm aiming down now. Can you see that little white faint glow? It's incredibly close to the aim sight. Now, is that going to be helpful for you at night time? Can I see that's, Mr. Micro? That's like, 
Yeah, I think that's like 50 pixels away from the aim site. There's no way that's helping me at all. I'm Absolutely stretching, not. am I? Am I stretching? I think so. I mean, I think it's a, it's worth noting, right? The fact that it glows is definitely unique and cool. I yep. don't think it glows so much that it's pay to lose. In fact, I think it's very subtle. Yeah. It's almost it's like your eyes have to adjust to the dark and then you can start to really see it. So it's it's very not it's really not the kind of glow that's going to get you busted at nighttime. My my ch like, my chat's helpfulness. Yeah, I think it's virtually nil. I think it does nothing in terms of helping me. Chat, don't have a moan at me. It's not my fault it doesn't help anyone, all right? I looked at it, I considered it. I had to put an effort in, all right? Don't moan at me. <laughs> so, Mr. Micro. I would, if I was shooting this, I would just not ADS. I would just hip fire so I had the crosshair on my screen, and that would be good enough. Mr. Micro, would you like to strike a pose, Mr. Micro? In your spot. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, strike a pose. So, Thompson skins, I like those. They do very nicely. So, let's just get a nice, good... Oh, sorry about that. So we've got a nice little gold plating bit there that says Tommy Gun. Let's just go zoom on you, Tommy I Gun. I don't. I'm not coming across as as being negative about this skin, am I? I hope that's not. No, 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 no. Like I think it's a cool skin. With what you're saying, you're just pointing out to say that the glow in the dark bit. It's not helping you at all. It's not there to help you. It, it, like I don't think the design was intended to be helpful. I think it was just trying to be unique, and. This is something we have to actually discuss a bit later, discussing the whole point of are glow in the glow in the dark aim sights actually uh banned? Is face punch outright saying you cannot do this? What is we we, it, we might as well discuss it now, Mister Micro? Because the um, is yes, they are they are not allowed. Okay, but you there's nothing stopping you from submitting skins with glow in the dark aim sites, correct? Nope, nope, not at all, not at all. But the chances of them being accepted are zero. There you They've go. Been placed on the forbidden list. I mean, there was a whole there was a whole thing back in the day. It was it 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 was a, de a decision was made is that they were going to keep what they had, and going forward, there would not be any more, you know, arms weapons with glow sights yeah you know, it doesn't mean other parts of the skin can't glow but the sights themselves are no glow so i believe there were actually other skins this is not a fact this is me piecing together some information um i think there were some more skins that had glow sights and the one thing that i'm thinking of is i think the wildfire lr it had a glow sight. In the previews on the workshop, it had glowing sights. If I ever get to talk to MDE, I'll ask him. Um, the Demon Strike LR ha is, looks very similar. It's got a very orange and black kind of color scheme. It's very, very similar. That has a glow sight. And the Wildfire LR had a very similar look and feel to it with a slightly dimmer glow. And it is accepted. And on the workshop page, it indicates glowing sights, or at least in the pictures, it shows it, but they just don't glow in game. So I, I don't know exactly what took place there if they decided they were only going to keep some, but not all. But weapon skins from that point forward are not allowed to glow. And I, it, ironically, I believe there were one or two skins that managed to slip through after that decree was made. Uh, For example, Anubis. I think Anubis AK yes. was uh, not meant to be accepted, but he was slick about it. So is this slick? I mm, I don't know. Like it's not super helpful, but I don't. I I, I haven't spoken to Neville. So Neville one one two, the creator of these. Uh, obsidian skins we haven't had we, we, we haven't been able to sit down and talk with him but we don't know what he's uh up to with his designs here now i can see with the actual uh, implementation of what this is supposed to be obsidian if you know what that is it's a special type of mineral where it's like uh, i don't want to say like stainless glass style cutted edges and whatnot but it's a very 
it's a very sort of weird looking mineral and he's making it so all the edges stand out an extra bit with the ever so faint glow in the dark. I can understand what he's trying to go for here, but it's like looking at this when I first found out that it was glow in the dark, someone was like, "Oh my god, this is helpful. This is going to this is going to be the next best thing." And uh, that was for the uh, Python. And well, it, it wasn't it wasn't we looked at that, we discussed it. It didn't it wasn't going to help you. It was going to help you uh, win a it wasn't going to help you win a gunfight at night time or anything. So we looked at it. It was cool, but um in terms of Thompson skins, it's a Thompson, so yeah, this is going to still do quite nicely as time goes on. When we're in the good times, Thompson skins do very, very nicely, so I look forward to it potentially being accepted. Um, but in the recent, recent times, Thompson skins, the most recent ones, haven't done fairly well, because as I said, we are slowly dabbling into the worst potential period of time for skin prices. When it hits around the end of October, early November, that's when I expect us to be really kind of bad with our skin prices, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that, and we will discuss that for the 48-hour analysis. But with this, I think it's a cool design. In terms of what he's trying to thematically make with the obsidian design, I like it. But I think we fuss too much about the glow in the dark. But there is a reason why I brought that up now. You know what I'm talking about, Micro. We'll discuss it mm -hmm. towards the end. Towards the very end, you'll see. You, I'm sure you already know in regards to uh, a certain something that people have been talking about recently. So that's the Obsidian Thompson made by Mr. Neville 112. So what's the next thing to discuss? Quarantine semi automatic pistol. Cool, 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 cool. Let's get a quick nighttime look at you. Let's get a quick dawn time look at you. Let's get a quick look daytime look at you. How about I stop aiming down a sight and look around? So, Quarantine Collection hasn't had a skin accepted for quite some time. It was fairly popular last year. Quick aim and shoot. Very, very nice. Reasonably helpful white aim sight, but all the rest of its aim sight is white as well. Semi-automatic pistols don't get used as much, do they, Mr. Micro? Um, I'm getting the feeling that they've kind of lost their spot. What is your opinion with them at the moment? Well, when they did the combat update, the semi-auto pistol turned into an absolute beast. So There was a lot of hype behind it, but it... Judging by the skins, they seem to have kind of cooled off on them. Like, do you recall when we were discussing and showcasing uh, all of the glow in the uh, glow in the dark aim sight uh, semi-automatic pistols that currently exist? And through a through a whole bunch of speculation for the recoil update, we saw them spiking up in price because people were anticipating that the recoil update was going to buff these, and we did see a buff, and people were happy, but it didn't last. What was the what was the uh, what was the guns? It was Golden Leaf, military, military. Ah! What are you doing? Stop it! Yeah, you're dead. You're definitely this. This. Is <laughs> uh, I think Sap is definitely meta right now. So uh, um, there's a there's not demand for it. It's because people would just saw. craft a SAR because yeah. it costs a rifle body and it's not that much more expensive. So how much damage uh, does it do in comparison to a SAR as well? Oh, it's not even really comparable. It's a different ammo type, and you know, I guess I guess my point is, if if you have the blueprints for both, you're definitely going to make a SAR. I think that's pretty clear. They they both report forty damage per shot, um, but there's a lot of factors that play into that. So, yeah. I think I'd rather just have a SAR, to be perfectly honest. But if if you were in the stage of the game where you only had a SAP, I would definitely rock it for sure. So, Mister, is is it is it long? Is there enough longevity in that cycle? Are you gonna get other guns before you go to the the trouble of skinning your SAP or whatever? It's like you're not running around with it for that long, and it's not the most badass gun. So, is it? Is it worth spending your money to get a skin for your sap? It's sort of one of those things that falls into a more discretionary kind of thing. It's not a must-have skin or a must-have a weapon that you must have skins for. Like you might use the sap 
to go get a SAR and then skin your SAR. So what I'm looking at right now is a lot of people here are saying it's easier to get a hold of a SAR compared to a SAP. And Meta here says pump slog costs about the same as a SAP. So SAP recoil is also incredibly, well, BS is what I've been told. So None. It's just, it's just there is none. There is none. But, ah, all right, all right, all right, all right. I am not a target. I'm not a target. <sighs> You're standing still. Thank you very much for that. Right. So we've gone through this batch. Mr. Micro, we... There's a target. There's a target. And it... Now he's killing all the wildlife. Wonderful. Oh, oh all right. So that's actually a, a perfect time for that to come up. And the reason I say that is... I'm not the best shot in the world. I'm a decent... I have decent aim. Looking at my combat log, those shots were between s about 75 and 95 meters. So that bear took off, started running. <laughs> so... Those shots were landing for about 33 damage apiece. This is high-velocity pistol ammo. And... I hit seven out of the ten shots that I shot. And that was mostly because he went over the hill. I missed the last one or two. So, a hundred yards, or, you know, 70, 75 to 95 yards, I hit 70% of my shots, doing 30-something damage apiece. That's pretty good, I think. <laughs> I don't um, mean me. I mean the weapon. I mean the function and the, the purpose of the gun. I think it's pretty decent. Well, I should uh, also point out quarantine sap made by Mr. Sir Q. Sir Q, congratulations. Uh, hope it's uh, potentially going to get accepted. And uh, you also made the likes of uh, From Hell Collection and whatnot, so you're pretty prominent. Good stuff, good stuff. Right. Let's move on to the Neo Soul Crossbow made by Odyssey. And this is a bit tricky because when you first look at it, you get the impression of, hey, does this glow in the dark? And no, it doesn't. No. Very cool design to it. I remember when the collection first started earlier this year. And we had some interesting designs. But uh, not everything was accepted, was it, Mr. Micro? In fact, I don't think we've seen a Neo Soul skin for quite some time. Maybe it's going to be the absolutely random late pick to appear in the future. Um, we'll find out. So let's just get a nice quick look at you, Mr. Macro. Yeah, so nice twirly-whirly and start. So do you like the design of this, Mr. Micro? Do you feel like the texture design of it? Giving off. I do like it. The, the force. I, I do like it. I'll be honest. I haven't. I didn't buy into it. I didn't. I didn't buy the skin. I don't own any of the Neo Soul stuff. But honestly, I. I do think it's cool. I. Um. I think what's cool about it is there's. The I don't know. Are those supposed to be bones or whatever? I think they're supposed to be sort of like stylized bones. But so there's that, and they have this sort of little bit of a glow to them. But if you get up. Real close in on the um, the spring part, you know, the uh, the bow part itself. You can see it's got sort of like this digital like um, dot matrix pattern. I, I think that's sort of just a cool like combination of stylized elements to have the 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 digital look, but also like that organic sort of um, hand not hand drawn. I mean, it, it probably is, but it's. The bone shapes are very organic looking. I think I like the idea of it. I remember when I first looked at it and I thought, oh my god, is that glow in the dark skin? And no, but hey, Odyssey, Halloween's coming up. Couldn't hurt to just do one glow in the dark near soul, maybe? <laughs> he maybe can, it's up to him. Um, but what skin would he pick? That's the thing. What item would he pick to be the one glow in the dark near soul? If you could have one near soul glow in the dark skin, Mr. Micro, what would it be? What would you think would look really cool? Good question. Good question. Um, uh, in all honesty, I do like the... I wouldn't mind the crossbow, because it definitely looks like it would 
do a pretty good job showcasing uh, a lot of it. Now, of course, it will show it will give off your position. We did see recently the glow in the dark from hell a crossbow being accepted, but uh, it's less than favourable. Why? Glow in the dark. You're giving away your position at night time if you're running around with it. Cool design, but yeah. But this one doesn't glow in the dark, so cool design, and it won't give you away. So, uh, no, yeah, Magnum, me, if, it doesn't glow in the dark. It would be a deployable for me. Mr. I was going to pick a, a glow in the dark. Mr. Magnum, please walk into the darkness just to prove to Mr. Magnum. There we go. It reflects light very nicely, but it doesn't uh, glow in the dark. Oh, yeah, it does a very good job of reflecting light. Move in slowly. Move in slowly. I want to see it, like, progressively appear. So, yeah, I, I've got my camera on you now. Where is, no, where is your camera? Are you just, I'm looking right at you now. Yep, so... Move ever so slightly forward now. Yes, that looks cool. Yep, I like that. Good stuff, Mr. Micro. I do believe we've gone through all of the uh, weapons and tools that are in the workshop that are continuations. So, uh, Sat, JPEG... Mm, weapons and tools, yeah. We just have deployables left. Deployables and a snow jacket. Mr. Micro, do you have the whiteout snow jacket on hand? Because it appears... Mr. MDE is trying to get a whiteout snow jacket accepted. And I got very confused. I keep getting confused between uh, jacket skins and snow jacket skins. So just to reiterate, snow jacket is separate from jacket. I believe the jacket is called or referenced as a vagabond jacket, if I'm correct. And this is separate as the snow jacket. Uh, this is the one that you'd use for the really chilly areas, the really cold and snowy areas of uh, rust. So, at night, looking very nice. Nice and sharp, Mr. Micro. How about I zoom in and get a quick look at those buttons? <gasps> wow, oh, well, okay, it doesn't look so good when you look at it real close, but... Uh... And you keep your 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 uh, pocket keeps clipping. That's a dis that's a bit disappointing. But the last snow jacket skin. One when was it accepted, Mister Micro? Twenty seventeen. The last snow jacket skin to be accepted was twenty seventeen. But the last one to be introduced was a streamer skin. I'm fetus snow jacket back in twenty twenty one. So, a an item that hasn't received a skin in a long time, and whiteout being fairly popular. Probably got a decent chance of being accepted. Oh, I like the lighting there. Looks really cool there. How about you do a nice quick spin around, Mr. Micro? A nice slow twirl. Yes, all the lighting on that looking ever so nice. He's not stuttering. He's just very slow. Just to point out, I am very deathly afraid if this ends up having some frame drops. I bought this new PC just to make sure we can... <laughs> Shut up, Meta. It's perfect. Right. Now, if, Micro, if you stop spinning around, I can just prove to people that I am moving ever so elegantly around and around. There's no issues. Yeah, There's no problems. Stuttering on rotation is actually me, probably. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm pointing out. That's what I'm pointing out. Yeah, don't blame me. I bought this PC shop. <laughs> I don't need any more problems. So, uh, yeah, S whiteout snow jacket. Would you approve? I would. I wouldn't mind seeing some uh, items getting some skins again. Um, we we did see a whiteout jacket being introduced to the workshop last year, back in the summer of 2021. That wasn't accepted. This is fairly new, so let's see what happens here. Right, Mr. Micro, come over to me. I, oh, go on. You have I something to say? I don't know how popular a snow jacket would be. Honestly, um, you can't stack it with armor or anything. Yep. It does give you cold protection and quite a bit of it, but I think that's its main. Um, what do they call it? Like a, a, a saving. Uh, uh, what's the term? Saving grace. Sort of, yeah. Um, you can move on. I, I don't have the vocabulary word to to think of the the phrase I'm trying to look for. Essentially, it's like the one attribute of it that makes it worthwhile the rest of uh, for any other purpose i mean i guess it's good for rads rad protection too i think it's something that you could get early game and it's a decent source of cloth you recycle this you get a sleeping bag um it's cold protection if you had nothing else and once you move past it uh, it's something that you would never use again but 
early game, it sort of has a place, sort of as a option. So well, come probably on. not most people's go to, but yeah, I think it's for me. I I look at it like a, 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 when I see a snow jacket, I think, oh, that's a sleeping bag. That's thirty cloth, and maybe a sewing kit. Oh, that's a, if you recycle it. That's a silly. Yeah, okay, no, that, that, that's fine. You're thinking of what's more valuable to you in the moment. Me- Oi, Magnum, shut up. I did download the graphics drivers. Can't you see this ever so good looking wall? Look at this wall. Look how detailed and wonderful it is. Look at it. Look at it. I could stare at this wall for another hour if I really wanted to. I could ramble about it if you really want to. Is this what you want? Look at it. It's perfect. Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Meta. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Micro. Sorry, I've, I read his name. Mr. Micro, shall we proceed with discussing the uh, workshop skins uh, deployables? The deployable workshop skins are continuing a collection. Mr. Micro? Yes, sir. Hello. Come here. Come oh, here. Okay. Come here. I, I, need, I, need, I need you here. Come here. Hello. You want me to like, yeah, walk, sta- walk over here? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I don't want to be lonely as I discuss this. So okay. if you could... No, Step back a bit. <laughs> right, okay. So, this is a surprise continuation of the supply, supply container set. So, if you weren't fully aware, late uh, at some point in the summer last year, right in the middle of having the um, Neon Storage Collection out, a different storage collection appeared, that being the Supply Container series. It wasn't as popular, and there were a couple of weeks when we saw supply container storages coming out during the same week as a neon storage. Um, they were selling for the same price as well, which was a bit silly. But after a fairly long time since the last one, the last one coming out around towards the end, literally a year ago, so sometime close to October, uh, we've now got the Boom Supply Container. And I guess this is something that we have to be prepared for fairly soon because we did discuss storage collections quite a lot earlier this year, a good three months ago when we were right in the middle of the graffiti storage set. We were considering what potentially might be the new uh, storage collection that could be accepted. And, well, Mr. Micro, it looks like uh, Mr... Uh, oh, this is going to be hard to say. Gurik. Greek? Is he? Is it a silly way of saying Greek? What do you reckon? You know, I, I know him as Zuf or Zufik. I Z- don't. Zufik. He changed his name. Yeah. So <laughs> I, well, we could respect that. We can. I don't know what that name is. We can acknowledge. We've. We can acknowledge him with both names. So it seems he's trying to throw his uh, name in the uh, potential of getting this back and continuing and becoming the next storage collection to get new skins every single week so chat youtube is this something you like to see or would you like to see some of the other designs and collections that we saw previously i really did like that transparent set made by sir q so if he's do you think he's got anywhere to go from here i thought this collection was basically complete boom is really the only thing i could even think of adding to this collection um cool you know what i would have to look at the whole collection again because i don't fully remember i remember we had ammo weapons meds armor um i mean you could easily just turn around and say oh i need a uh i need a card box i need a deployables box list here's the list of what we have all right go ahead we have guns ammo yep armor yep tools Yep. Meds. Yep. Resources. Yep. And components. That's. And I think. I think that's a very good lineup for a basic set because you don't have a distinction between clothing and armor. It's just armor. Actually, guns and ammo are separate, but that does actually make decent sense. Yeah. Components, tools, resources. Like that's just a very condensed set so if you didn't want to if you wanted a a set that was basically complete but you didn't want to buy 18 boxes to do it this is a nice way to have um a more simple layout you know maybe you don't have room in your base maybe you don't build bases big enough to have 18 dedicated separate boxes for all of your different loot but this is a nice set that has seven boxes and covers all of the basics and all of your necess- uh, necessities i think 
boom is really the last place to go from there without starting to get into the very specific scuba gear, cold weapons, right? All that's, you know, there's nothing wrong with those, but I think there's something to be said for simplicity and for conciseness. And then he does that with this set. So boom makes a lot of sense and I can't hate him for trying. He, there's a lot of other sets that are getting continuations and whatnot. So no, what, not, him for trying. not, not, uh, not, um, what's the word to say? No harm in trying. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. Worth a shout. Yeah. Worth for Troy. So that is the, uh, Boom supply container made by Gurik or Zuff, as you refer to him. So, Mr. Micro, shall we start discussing Slanosters double sheet metal reinforced? No, it's double armored. Oh, better. Double armored sheet. Uh, 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 <laughs> reinforced double armored door by made by Slanoster. So, we've uh, seen quite a lot of. Um, reinforced uh, deployable skins being accepted so far this year we've seen the single armor door we've seen the single sheet metal door no is that correct we've seen a is that a big bear micro don't move there's a bear to your left don't make any sudden movements right, if i make it it's probably the one i didn't get to kill before go on then fulfill your destiny go on get him hey buddy I feel bad. I'm look. He's looking right in my eyes. There we go. Hey. There we go. Ah, oh, he fell over. How silly. Now, anyway, so we have the reinforced double armored door. Very, very nice. Glows in the dark. Very cool. We've seen the recent. Um, we've seen a uh, single armored door being accepted. We've seen the uh, storage box being accepted. There was something else that was accepted that I can't put my name on. What was it? What was the other reinforced store? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go on SCMM. It was fairly recently. Garage door. Garage door. That's it. I discussed the garage door a lot fairly recently because uh, it was one of the only garage doors that was in the positive because it had such a low amount of quantity on the Steam market. So that that could potentially be accepted. We've been seeing a lot of it being accepted from this collection it's done fairly well it's looking very cool how about i get a nice slow pan around on you let's go to night time mr micro if you could turn the lights off i could get a probably a better yeah, look turn off the so i can lights. see the reflection of the light there as it was there get a much better view of all of this glow in the dark sense can you turn the lights back on please mr micro and then you can see the reflection of the light there on the uh window appearance the sheen of the metal on the side looking very very nice looking very very cool so congratulations there mr slanoster looking very very nice and i wouldn't be surprised if it gets accepted you know what if we're going to see loads of sheet metal double doors suddenly appear what's stopping an armored double door appearing so very nice Fun fact, I did the screenshots for this item this week. Ooh, bragging, are we? <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. I like it. Oh, what's going on? What's over there? You want me to look at it halfway uh, through? I got you. Uh, no, I was just not... You, you weren't meant to open it. I was just knocking to celebrate. Shut up. Anyway, so, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't. Don't. I'm trying to be professional to a reasonable point. Good. So, we have the continuation of the Camouflage Collection with the Desert Door. So, we've had the green one, which was just called Camouflage Door. Should have been Forest, but oh well, Camouflage Door. And the recent one was the Arctic Camouflage Door, which was all icy. Had a very nice icy appearance. And, Micro, I think you need to turn the light off here, because it's kind of uh, giving a weird extra light appearance. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I might ask you to turn it back on in a minute. So, the specialty with this one is like a grainy sand texture covering on all of the metal right there. Do you see that? Let's just give a second there to just kind of look at that. And, you know, we've got the netting, as per usual, with what we've seen with the other two. It's literally kind of stamped on or nailed down, and it hangs due to gravity. We see a bit of tempered... Uh, I don't know, erosion due to the sand on the handle, so that looks very, very, very nice. And as we just take a look back and see most of it in its all oh, now we've got light reflecting on it. Very, very nice, Mr. Micro. Yes. 
Light to the left and light to the right. How about we make it night time? Yes, cool stuff. Thank you very much, Mr. Micro. So, yes, Mishka, continuing his collection. Will that be accepted? Very likely. Uh, will that cause the uh, desert rug to go up in price? Very, very likely, yes, 100%. We saw it happen with the green one. We saw it with the green door being accepted. The uh, forest camouflage rug went up in price. When we saw the Arctic... Uh, door repair. We saw the Arctic camouflage rug increase in price. If that gets accepted, which is probably looking to be fairly certain, then yeah, I really do think then the uh, desert, desert camouflage rug would uh, go up in price. So do you be prepared for this? It's looking pretty certain. I don't know. I cannot think of a reason as to why Face Punch would not accept that. So yeah, maybe not the armor that we've seen and the garage door for some reason but i would be confident to see this potentially being added soon maybe not during halloween but maybe afterwards or just before so next week or three weeks later no four four weeks later okay mr micro let's proceed to uh, the workbench free door made by a duck so what is the design here it's supposed to be like as if someone took down and ripped apart their workbench and turned it into an armoured door instead. Is that... Mm. So I like the idea of it. It's a, it's a cool thematic design. You just put a workbench there, didn't you? Right, so... Workbench free. This is the uh, style that it's working from. And this is what it got converted to in terms of flavour. Now, again, with the silly messages, don't raid me. Why does every door have to do this? It was funny the first time, but now everybody's doing it. Why are you putting this everywhere? <laughs> you... I just just for different lighting. Just oh. to see, uh, okay. You know that helps the lighting and all. So we've got a quick look there, a quick look there. Seems to match up quite nicely. At night time, of course, it doesn't glow in the dark. Could you turn the lights on, Mister Micro? Turn the lights on, Mister Micro. Thank you very much, Mister Micro. Yes, very very nice. Looking nice and sharp. We've seen quite a lot of single armor door skins being accepted, accepted this year, so it might cause problems in terms of whether you want to invest into it or not. But it's a neat little design. I like it. He's cool. Got a weird sort of mesh appearing here. I'm not sure. So if I turn it to day. Huh. It, does that glow in the dark? Wait, what? Micro, can you turn the lights off? It does not glow in the dark i'm seeing uh, a weird reflection yeah that was odd yeah the cardboard bit that's was just the angle that's just the way the light the, the yeah it's the it's hatch a... itself is responding a little bit differently to the lighting conditions but i guarantee you in most conditions it'll look as intended that's just a product of the effect that the light is at a very extreme low angle that's it's just it's an unusual placement for a light here, so that's why it's it's doing that. But right. If you look at it with normal lighting; it'll look yeah ordinary. Oh yeah, but then you see it inside. Right, Mister Micro. I do believe we've gone through all the deployables, but there is one more, and it's actually going to make us segue over or seg. I don't know how you pronounce it properly. We're going from one discussion to another because this is the in between. We have shown off every other thing that we wanted to show off, but we have one more skin that is a continuation of a collection in the workshop right now, but it's also, Mr. Micro, a Halloween skin. Let's walk over to here. You know what? Turn it to night time, Mr. Micro. Let's just take this all in. There we go. Chat, YouTube, there's a lot of promising things to keep an eye out for. Quite, quite literally over there, but yeah, chat. Halloween Rustle Rotations will be starting on the 20th and the 27th, but there is a Halloween 2022 Entries Contest going on at the moment. So let me just go through all of these skins first, and I'll show you where to look. keep an eye out, where to look for these, because you can keep track of all the new uploads and start considering or speculating what might be accepted. So, Mr. Micro, let's just quickly uh, go to... Oh, no, let's just uh, make it daytime because there's, uh, there's some uh, interesting things to wear. Mr. Micro, if you could look in this left box, you'll notice some toys to play with because the first thing I want to show off right now is this 
And let me get the name right. <clears throat> this is... Actually, oh wait, I should have discussed this box first. Oops. Right, so you get in position and then I'll talk about the AK afterwards. So, right here I have the Ghost Pumpkin Large Box. Last year, for last year's Halloween, we got the Ghost Pumpkin Small Box. Very cool design. Let's make it over here. Let me do a nice quick pan around. So, got some cool looking vines all around there with the candles, the... Weird, menacing-looking face, glows in the dark, cool design there. The forms glow in the dark as well to kind of emphasise the light from the face. If I just go down to the side, as you can see, the candles, the candles that are all wrapped around in the corners, they glow in the dark too, giving it a very nice impression. How about if we just quickly look around the back to what we have over here? More and more candles. So, very interesting design. This is made by a Mr... Uh, what's your name? MM? MM full stop? Well, I think I'll just call him MM. So, cool design here. F um, the Halloween skins tend to be very, very nice. Very, very lax on glow in the dark. We tend to go pretty crazy with this. This is where we're most likely going to see our one single glow in the dark AK for the year. Funny that, because uh, what am I holding right here right now? Oh, it's an glow-in-the-dark AK. Very cool. So, this AK is called the... Let me just get this name right. Midnight Ghost AK-47, uh, or Moonlight. Moonlight referring to the fact that it, the, uh, the glow-in-the-dark that you see here. Very cool design. There's like a Grim Reaper there. I think that looks perfectly reasonable as in it's not super flashy it's not going to give you away too easily at night time but personally to run around with this at night that looks really cool and even during evenings and dawn time still a very nice design as you get closer into the light it kind of lightens up during the day it still looks very cool so a very neat design very cool i like that a lot Let's just... and reload. Looking good. And Mr. Micro, can you please strike a pose? Mr. Micro, where have you disappeared to? Where's he gone? Here we are. Hello, Mr. Macro. So, ooh. Let's get a nice... Let me turn the lights on. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, let's get a nice eye view on you. And let's turn it to dawn. Get a nice emphasis on the designs that we have here. So, this is like... A uh, Grim Reaper holding a skull. I like the design of this. So, chat, YouTube, we tend to see some very awesome looking designs for uh, Halloween skins. I hope you're looking forward to it because there's going to be some very impressive things being uploaded soon. And hopefully you keep an eye on all of it. So we've got some like runes being written down on the uh, tip of the handle. And then if you look here, we've got the Grim Reaper clutching a skull more runes are wrapped around on the, the chamber it's got cobwebs all over the actual uh what do you call the bit at the end of the ak uh the bit where the actual bullet comes out <laughs> muzzle the muzzle yep cobwebs all over the ammo twirl it around what do we see this side the exact same thing on the other side so if i make it night time let's get a quick look around here and a very cool design, but Mr. Micro, could we look at you at night time in terms of, can you look, can you walk into the darkness ever so slightly? And yeah, all right, stop, stop, stop. Let me zoom in right there. So yeah, can you see the Grim Reaper? Oh, the runes glow in the dark as well. So the handlebar glows. Do you see that chat? And then do the the runes glow here as well? Not really. Okay, well, it's just the... Oh, 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 slow down, Mr. Micro. So, yep, it's just the Grim Reaper mainly. So, cool design. And if we look over, I think the moon glows as well. Yep. So, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Very, very nice. Now, does the aim sight glow? No. Good. So, this has a pretty good chance of being accepted. We, we will see some more AK skins. Don't you, don't you worry. We will see some more, but... Um, these were the skins that first appeared. These were the skins that first appeared. We don't have that many submissions right now at the moment. I will show you in a bit. But uh, we've got a batch of uh, a few over there that were some of the first ones to be seen. So this is made by a Mr. Uh, Odyssey. So, yep, Odyssey again. Very nice. Very cool.
Now, Mr. Micro, I do believe we have a balaclava. Or, or what, wait, what? Uh, burlap head wrap? No, it's a burlap head wrap. Mr. Micro, if you could uh, get yourself in position. Because, chat, do you remember about two, three months ago when we showed off a very silly cat hat? A burlap cat hat. And it was, it was it was as if like a cat was just sitting on your head. It was very silly. It was very fun, quirky. It wasn't accepted though. Then we saw a version two, where it was literally a hat and the cat was on top. That still wasn't accepted. Well, that was made by Shedmon, and Shedmon never gave up on that idea for s some sort of animal on top of your head. Shedmon's gone and made what is called a what's it called? Just trying to make sure I got the name right. S a glow-in-the-dark spider head, Mr. Micro, if you can wear it, please. Mr. You're not going to get a close-up on the head? Get, uh, get get nice and tight on the head uh, so we can really show it off in style. I am. I was going to get closer if you turn... Uh, so we're, we're going to try and scare the people with arachnophobia. You've been warned. Put yes. it on, Mr. Micro. Yes. Yes. Put, yes. <laughs> so, chat, do you like the design? We haven't had that many burlap head wrap skins for a while, but... What he's gonna done here is recently we saw him making like spaghetti bucket helmet where he's been learning to make certain parts of the mesh invisible or appear invisible. And it's culminated in this design of this spider web burlap head wrap. It's definitely burlap head wrap, correct? Just double checking. Can you confirm if it's burlap head wrap? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So we did have a bit of a discussion not too long ago talking about how um, see-through meshes just aren't accepted anymore. Uh, what do we call it? Uh, translucent? Not translucent. Uh, what's the word? What's the word where you can see right through it? Not opaque. Opaque's the word that we can't definitely see through it. Uh, transparent. Transparent. Yeah. So transparency tends to be a bit... Uh, frowned upon but for this with the webs the design of this the legs awesome i love it i think this is one of the best creative ideas i've seen for a halloween like forever and mr micro if you could just walk ever so slightly into the background into the darkness because our ever so lovely spider friend right here glows in the dark oh imagine seeing that at the very last second and then you're ambushed so Yes, now you're screwed. <laughs> so, yeah, well, uh, you... you, you full jump out effect. But... You, you jumped in and then you went past me. So go on, jump and ambush. Have fun. Go on, Mr. Micro, have your fun. I don't know if I'd be ambushing someone in this way with an AK or more like, uh, I don't know, a double barrel or something. But yeah. Well, let me just look at the spider's bum. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. I wouldn't say no to it. Would it maintain a decent price for a long, long time? I'm not sure. Would it sell quite well? I think it would. I don't think we're ever going to see anything as insane as this for a long time. Uh, do you know what I could think of? Maybe like a coiled snake wrapped around your head. I think that would work pretty cool. That would be a nice idea. But Ms. Shedmon, very good job here. That's a very creative idea. And and, and this is the thing. Everybody's going to be making like a, a zombie skin or a Frankenstein skin or maybe like a weird monster or a vampire skin. Who would have thought making a spider skin? So great idea. Great, like, great. Oh, what's the word? Great result. That's it. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that gets accepted. So there's plenty of potential other skins that will be coming out soon. But for what I see from here and now, I like that a lot. So, Mr. Micro, uh, should we start looking at all of these deployables? So I'm going to start walking over here. Mr. Micro, what do we have right here? Well, that on the floor is the zombie bearskin glow-in-the-dark rug. So this is a bearskin rug made by Vleck. And if you recall, the last bearskin rug that we've had accepted marketable was the werewolf rug, which also glowed in the dark ever so slightly. So bearskin rug skins aren't that common. Well, look at this insane design because... He's got bones, he's had his flesh ripped off, his eyes are still there. Have you ever seen Annihilation? Have you ever seen the movie Annihilation with the weird mutated bear? Because I'm getting some vibes like that. And when we look at all the blood, so let's just kind of zoom around back to here. 
Oh, mate, what happened to you? Now, don't forget, glow in the dark. Oh, could you turn the lights off, Mr. Micro? Sorry about that. Just want to show this uh, with better emphasis for its glow in the dark. Yeah, so I can see his brains. <laughs> cool design, very nice. It's a, I don't know, would you say it's a bit and too bright? For anybody looking, that there's nobody casting light on that. It's pure black. I don't have my flashlight out or nothing. That's how the skin is. It's lit up and it has the light all coming from a, from a specific angle like that. It is kind of bright, isn't it? It is kind of bright, but in terms of creative design and in terms of uh, an item that hasn't had a skin in such a long time, I'd say yes. I think that'd sell well. I think loads of people would want that. Chat. Do you have bare skin rugs in your base to help you extra comfy? Wouldn't you want this guy to uh, increase your comfort? Look at his happy grin. Look, he's so happy to see you. You'd love him oh, in your God. base. I I bought the werewolf rug, uh, the Halloween that that came out, expecting it to do amazing. Because this is like the, the werewolf skin with the glowing eyes had like the perfect amount of glow to put that on your ceiling to be able to help navigate around to give you some comfort. I mean, everybody picks up the occasional bearskin rug, so might as well deploy it, and you might as well put a useful skin on it. Well, I thought that was going to do great, and for a long time, that did not do well on the market. Not so well, but because we didn't see any new ones appear for two years, now those werewolf rugs and uh, werewolf bear rugs are selling for like six to seven dollars now. Yeah, uh, seven bucks right now. I know Crazy because I did that. I own 10, so yeah, that's all good. I used to own 100, and I sold them when they were like $4 each, so I made a bit of a mistake there. But hey, I made a profit and put that profit towards more fun adventures to invest into. So, you know, can't can't be upset too much. So, um, yeah, very cool design, and I think that's got a great chance of being accepted for one of the deployable skins. So we're probably looking at maybe around 10, around 10 skins each week, the 20th and the uh, 27th. And last year's Halloween 2021 uh, skin contest, so basically the submissions for the Halloween skins, there was over 100. There was over 100 of them. So we've really got to sit, sit down and figure out what potentially might be accepted. But I'll, sh I'll show it to you all in a second. So uh, that is that. How about we take a look at this interesting looking sheet metal door made by Shitbon. Shitmon again. He's made two Halloween skins already, so the proper name for this is the Ghoul Door. The Glow in the Dark Ghoul Door, because yes, this glows in the dark. So let's just get a nice pan around on the design of this. Now when I first saw it, I thought it was a bit too gory. Like, is this a bit too much? Is this a bit over the top? Look at this guy. He's got no flesh. He's got ooze pouring out of his skull. Is that even an eyeball anymore? What even is this? It's disgusting. But then, night time. And I slowly pan out here. And damn, take a look at that. That looks kind of goofy, but really spooky. Like, I think you've done a very decent job here, Mr. Shedmon. For a scary looking, just like horrible thing to look at, in a good way, you've, you, you aim for this. I think you've done a very good job. And I, f I wouldn't say no to that. Very cool glow in the dark sheet metal door skin there. So, chat, what's your opinion? Would you like that for Halloween? Would you like to see that for uh, a Halloween pick? Oh, that's what it looks like in the light. You can see all of his flesh there. Yeah, it's all oozy and horrible. <laughs> so yeah, nice design. Good job there, Mr. Shedmon. And now, I sh uh, uh, Magnum, I mean, you can sit there and offer your opinion now. Like, I, 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 I'd like to ask. Like, you got to understand, bud, I can't just, like, skip if you don't like it. Just to give you a point out, like, we've got a selection. I just want to introduce people to being prepared for Halloween skins and whatnot. Do you do you like it, chat? Do you like some of the... Oh, sorry. Do you like what we've got here? How about when we're done, I'll ask you your opinions. Because 
I will start. I will show you the uh, contest link, and you can actually vote if you want these, because you can say yes on the votes on the workshop. So let's just continue with this. Then we'll discuss whether you liked it or not. So what we have over here is another large storage box. So this is the sacrificial altar, LWB sacrificial altar, and it glows in the dark. So. What do we have right up here? Well, it's got a row of skulls, some of them glowing. Interesting, very cool. And at night time, how about we get a quick look at night time? And, ooh, looking very bright and menacing. So how about we just slowly go down and see the sides? So in the sides here, we can see that there's some, like, cracked lighting. We've got what appears to be some sort of runes on the side. Looking very cool, and yes, with all the cracked lighting piercing through, the sacrificial water is unstable, and the great power within is going to escape and wreak havoc upon this rust world. So yes, very cool design made by Mr. Bingo. I'm not sure if I've heard that name before. If you get this accepted, this will probably be your first skin, and what a, what a great skin to introduce and start off your career with. That looks really cool, I like that. So... Yeah, there it is, gentlemen, the Sacrificial Altar. And now, moving on to this wooden door skin. Am I correct? Is this a wooden door skin, Mr. Micro? Scary wooden yes, door. Made by Y9J. So, what do we have up here? We have some very nice cobwebs encased over some glowing, riveted... Eyeballs, I guess you could say. I mean, it's supposed to give you the appearance of like a spooky looking door with eyes and whatnot. So that does look pretty cool. And if we just go down and see the spooky looking mouth. Now, I'm not sure if there's supposed to be like a menacing thing behind the door or whatever. Like what's in the orange light? What's in the orange light? I'm not sure. Not sure what exactly is going on, but it definitely looks like a spooky monster. If that potentially is the intention. Very cool. Uh, nice looking wooden door skin that we have there. Good job there, Mr. Y9J. And last but not least, we've picked this as an extra. This wasn't the earliest skin to appear, but do you recall when we talked about the neon storage, the neon pumpkin store, uh, neon pumpkin doors that we've had in the past? Neon pumpkin garage door, and we had neon pumpkin double door. I can't remember if it was armor double door or whatever, but it's pretty much the exact type of lighting, very similar appearance, very cool, simple, fun design. So let's just get a nice peek in the top left here, and I'll just give its proper name. This is the Night Hunter. Garage door made by Vitalik. Gentlemen, bear witness to the ever so menacing looking eyes peering at you from the other side of the garage door, encased in barbed wire, with chains all wrapped around with uh, uh, bat sigils, uh, bat metal symbols, uh, I'm not sure, but I scroll down a bit, we see the neon sign fencing, I like that, so... It's giving it a justified reason for glow in the dark. It's actually on fencing to make the light, so that's a very good job there. Very nice. Very cool. Simple, straight to the point design. Bats. Very spooky. So, chat, do you approve of that? Do you like that? I like the neon look, like a neon sign. Exactly that. It looks like it fits. It fits within this game. It's cool. I like that a lot. So, I think that's also got a very great, uh, good chance of being accepted. So, gentlemen, that is our quick look into all of the... Let's just see if I can get a nice pen around. That is our quick look into the beginnings of the Halloween 2022 uh, uh, contest. So, I should start introducing you to how to keep track of all of them. So, uh, let's just get one good look at them during the daytime. Now, Mr. Micro, I am now going to quickly show these people how to keep an eye out for uh, all of these skin submissions. Could you tend to this uh, batch of skins and I we have, can... I just have one one thing to add. Oh, go on. Is the sacrificial altar yes. that you attributed to Bingo. Um, were you were slightly off the mark in that Bingo does have about four or five other skins that have been accepted. My apologies. And he's He's worked a bunch with Mishka. 
Oh, and a few others in the past. So okay, he's been around uh, for quite a while, and he's got a number of accepted skins from years past. T do you know what? I can take a look. Chat. Let's go explore how to find the Halloween uh, collection. So, Micro, if you could tend to all of that, and then we'll start showing off the streamer skins. So, chat, let's zoom on over to here. As you can see right here, I am on the Rust Workshop section. And if you hover over Browse, click Collections, you will see TGG's Halloween 2022 contest entries. So, if I click this, and from what we can see here... Everything's right there. I'll link it to you right now. Copy, paste. Chat, can you please start voting for the things that you like? Start voting and offer support to the skins that you want to see being accepted into the next Halloween Rustle rotations. This contest, or it's technically a contest, but it's just the submissions. Um, the final date for submissions... The final date for submissions is Sunday, October 16th, 11.59 PST time. So the very second it hits Monday on the 17th, no more skins can be submitted. The list is complete and Mr. TGG will make a very big video showcasing all of these. And then we can see them all in game and then we can potentially decide what we want to have accepted. So chat. We just saw Scary Wooden Door, Zombie Bearskin Rug, Night Hunter, Ghoul Door... Uh, what else did we see? Sacrificial Altar, Ghost Pumpkin Large Box, Spider Head, and Midnight Ghost AK-47. Chat, would you like to start voting for the skins that you approved of? The ones that you would like to see being accepted because you need to offer support. You need to show to Face Punch, I want this skin to be accepted. So, there they are. Very cool. Very nice. I'd, yeah, I'd like to chime in and just offer my own personal statement here the skins that we chose off of this list here had no specific preferential or other type of order we didn't choose these because these were our favorites we didn't choose them because they were first or last or middle on the list uh we picked the one door because it was a continuation and i picked uh i think i picked like the neon the purple bat neon door on account of the fact it looks like the pumpkin door from last year. It sort of has like a consistent neon theme, even though it's not the I, same author or anything. I, I, Otherwise, I, there's no other reason we picked those. It weren't yeah, trying I, to sh pump certain skins <laughs> or anything off. It was just basically random. It, it was what was it was what was submitted. Yeah, like there yeah, there, there are more, more chat. There. You chat, YouTube, you need to go ahead and look at all of these. Like when I first looked at this and picked out some skins, there was only like seven. Now there's 20, and it's growing bigger. That list is only getting bigger. There's going to be more added potentially this Monday. Keep an eye out, keep a look at it, and start voting for the things you want to be accepted. Now, yes, there are some double versions. So this one glows in the dark, this one doesn't glow in the dark, this one doesn't glow in the dark, this does glow in the dark. So, yeah, you're going to see some things like that. But go ahead, vote for what you want to see. Vote for the skins that you would like to see for the 20th and the 27th. So, yeah. And uh, just to commit to something I wanted to see, uh, bingo right there. So, bingo, what have you contributed recently? Just curious is all. So, um, he's tried to make a uh, storage collection. So Choose his Rust workshop specifically, just in case there's other stuff there. I'm, but... I'm only seeing Rust, and then I see some CSGO, and then I see Rust again. I don't think he's had a skin accepted. Um... Trust me, he has five skins accepted. Keeping an eye out, keeping an eye out. Dota. <laughs> uh, come on, where's that tick? Right, double pirate door. Very nice. That was a nice door. Uh, we've got pirate hut, which was very nice. Demon furnace. All right, all right. It's been a while. It's been a while. But he has had some very interesting, cool designs accepted before. Pirate, yeah, yeah. Pirate themed is what he was working with before. So, very nice, very cool. Good job, Mr. Bingo. I hope to see your design being accepted. I hope to see all of the things I saw, but there's definitely going to be some interesting competition. There's definitely going to be some interesting designs being uh, introduced. So, let's close that. 
Back to Mr. Micro. Mr. Micro, how about we start discussing the streamer skins? Yay! Where'd he go? Is he invisible? Oh, there he is. Hello. Mr. Micro. Mr. Micro, there is also a hoodie, if you could wear that. And we'll just go through the doors first. So, chat, I'm very sorry I don't speak Spanish. Here we go. This is... <clears throat> uh, oh, here we go. I, uh, I'm i not 100% sure who's whose door. Do you know what I can do? I can go to Google and I can type in Twitch Face Punch and I can quickly get the names correct this way. You should be watching these people in the background. So, Sinmas TV with his Ban Now Pozo garage door. I I can't do the Spanish any justice. So, Glow in the Dark, fairly silly design. We do see this a lot with streamer skins. That is uh, Hidden Kitty Cat, I think, and he's... Drop kicking a cheater, it seems, as in someone who's cheated at the game. So he's dropped kicked him, and it says cheater out. Fun little thing right there. And then for oh, is this, he an admin is he? Uh, is he like the? He could be actually the Latin American. He he could be Spanish actually community. That actually would make sense then if he's like drop kicking someone who's cheating. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm not Spanish. I don't I don't watch these people. <laughs> yeah. Do you know any Spanish, Mister Micro? No. Okay, I, I thought you were going to come out there and start, like, I doing the rest of the stream. No, uh, I responded in Spanish, so... What? Right then, so, we have... I can't pronounce this. <clears throat> uh, uh, Gaita? Gaita? I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. Uh, G-E-I-T-T-A. Uh, their garage door. Uh, this also glows in the dark. Well, let's turn it to night time. So it's a menacing looking mouse underwater with a drill. Damn you, menacing scuba mouse. You've ruined the water for everyone. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very silly design. Jackhammer, and... Jackhammer is actually OP for underwater PvP. Is it? I'm surprised it even works. It shouldn't really, but eh, yeah, well. Oh, it should. I mean, it's, it's new video game. Operated, so. Uh, it makes sense that a gun wouldn't work well underwater, but a jackhammer Ugh. is probably the best PvP tool in the water if you don't have a spear gun. So um, I've got my chat speaking Spanish now. Ah, oh, you people. <laughs> right, Mr. Micro, this is a bit of a special looking door artistically. Come here, come salivate over the door all over again. You can't get enough of this, can you? Um... Now, what is the pretty cool. what is the style that I'm looking at here? So, at night, look at that. That looks awesome. That's a really nice looking door. Um, but what is this style called? What am I looking at here? So, I guess if you were talking about the art style, yep. I guess you'd call it like maybe impressionistic or like sort of like modern pointillism. Yep, sort of. In a way, I I think it's a really unique style and um... sort of mosaic. That's what Magma said. I don't think it's mosaic. It's like there's a type of style yeah, we I take agree a with mosaic. But... There's a there's a type of drawing style where you draw a pattern, but you draw it all over the canvas, and you kind of structure an actual drawing out of it like if you just kept drawing squiggly lines but then you end up making a whole wonderful looking picture just with squiggly lines and what it what it, what it appears to be here is the guy's logo of sorts so whose name is this this is uh there is no name for it oh my oh dear <laughs> i don't have a name um i don't have a name is it the 13th raid let's just quickly double check oh, are they not giving Oh, they're just general drops. Yeah, so these are... Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that is odd. They don't They don't give general drops a name. So the 13th Raid, Menos Trech. Uh, the, uh, they hired an actual artist for this, and she did a wonderful job. So good job there. Looks very eye-catching, very appealing. So very nice work. And over to here, to the right. So just to point out, all of these were garage door skins. All of them. <laughs> but over here... Wow, Micro, it's a free double door skin. Wonderful. So, nighttime, glows in the dark. Very nice appealing sight. Let's get a quite quick look at you. So, this is what I was referencing when we were talking about 
more double sheet metal doors coming out. So this is for free. All you have to do is watch, uh, what, three hours of a street? No, four? I can't remember. I'll look at it in a second. But you just need to go watch some of the Streamerland streams, and you can get this for free. So what are you waiting for? Very cool design, glows in the dark. Not too blatantly in your face. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's cool, it's a simple design. Who can hate on that? Huh? Everybody can, because they moan at everything. <laughs> now, Mike Crow, I do believe we had a locker somewhere. Don't we oh, have wait, a locker? Oh, you, you moved on before I could chime in. To okay. Say that I didn't... Did, you, did you look at this, um, uh, at this skin in the daylight? Like so, in other words, like with this door open, because we're really on the shadow side here. Yeah. <laughs> Even over here in the sunlight, you can't. It still stands out pretty well. But let me put my light on it. Oh, this, this is really meant to be almost like a hidden image in a way. Like if you shine a, a light directly on here. Yeah. It's almost like that that pattern fades away, right? If you're looking at it in broad daylight with the extra light source from my light on it, my headlamp. Yeah, it almost it almost makes that pattern practically invisible. But then if I turn my light off, it starts to be a little more clear. And then, and then if it you starts to become to, noticeable. And then during yeah, the evening, you go to dusk and then nighttime, like it actually totally transforms the image. So I think in terms of creativity and um, uniqueness, this is cool. I think they did a really good job on this. I'm impressed. <laughs> Right, so um, back to the sheet metal doors. Sorry, Micro, I, I understand you wanted to show it off on the other, on the brighter side, and that was uh, ah, uh, I can't see her, but yeah, I I respect that. We should have shown it in a much brighter uh, light. So how about I stand on the outside and look at this streamer door, streamer land door, and chat again. It's free. Can you really complain? It's there. It's available to you. All you have to do is just watch the streams. Okay, no need to complain. Mm, is this going to badly affect the prices of the Constellation sheet metal door and the storage room sheet metal door? At the very least, I think the storage room double door might be affected. I'm not sure if Constellation is going to suffer so badly. I honestly think Constellation will do perfectly reasonably fine. It's not a weird specific sort of design it's like outer planets it, you it's appealing to look at it stands out but it's not super weird and it kind of flows nicely so with this this sheet metal door it's kind of quite literally specifically in reference to something of course but um yeah you know if you want to have it in your base to help you w uh, walk around and whatnot helpful there you go so would you rather have this in your base or a storage room double door Choice is yours, and you probably have your own reasons. And we've probably discussed them many times already. Mr. Micro, this is the uh, Augusta Bell Locker. Am I correct? Augusta Bell correct. Locker, and nice addition. You like this quite a lot, don't you? Now, I, I'm i not sure that I... Uh, I, don't, I I'm not sure where you got that impression. I I don't think I love it. I, <gasps> I don't. I think sorry. It's well made. I, I think it's a decently made locker skin. Um, well, we're not going to be getting any locker skins for a while anyway. So <laughs> enjoy it while it lasts. My my go-to play skin for lockers is the toxic skin. Oh yeah, that's a good starting point, isn't it? So, but I I will say I like. I do think he did a nice job on this skin. I mean it's. I, I guess I just was hesitant to accept you putting words in my mouth. Sorry or about that. In my mouth, for that matter. But, um, but I do respect it. Is a nicely done skin with well baked glow and nice texturing, light, nice modeling, and a clever idea to use the the suits hanging up in there. It actually looks like a locker. And to be honest, I do like it. I'm just object to you saying that I like. It <laughs> Sorry. Me. That's all. <laughs> I, I I object to you saying I like it, but I'm going to sit here and say I like it. All right, Mr. Mike. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that for me. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway, cool design. It's free. Can't complain. Uh, chat, I don't think we're going to be seeing a 
marketable locker skin for a while. I did see one. I can't remember what it was. There was a recent marketable... Well, there was, there was a workshop submission fairly recently. I saw it. I liked it. But I can't remember wh who, who it was. It was from a collection. I feel really stupid for mentioning it. But, um, I, again, I still don't think we're going to see a uh, marketable locker door. Uh, a marketable locker. Sorry. Locker. Anytime soon. Uh, it looks like we are still waiting for that for a while, so better be prepared for that. Mr. Micro, I do believe you are wearing a interesting hoodie. Can we get a quick look at you? Can we strike a pose? Why is there a minicopter right here, mate? Micro? A what? Why is there... A, 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 a microcopter? Oh, oops. <gasps> oops. It broke. What a shame. Now, where were we? So, we have... A... <laughs> right. You're, you're definitely, you're definitely going to take that out for a ride when we're done, though. You know. I will give it a shot. Right, okay. This is the... Uh, oh, God. They, they, they don't actually put the names down. I've got to go back here and look it up. So, th whose skin is this? This is... Should have kept it written down or something. Ex Libano's jacket skin. So, he has a pretty interesting design here with the pandas, pure white with green. And round the back, I'm pretty sure this must be his, like, logo for the streams and whatnot. Um, a sleepy panda on a long reed of bamboo very nice and it's got a bamboo tip for the uh, overhead piece very silly fun design does it glow in the dark let's find out uh doesn't look like it mr micro could you quickly walk into the darkness and can you stay there forever right does it glow in the dark i don't see any glow in the dark and he's oh well i wasn't even looking at you where have you gone? Where have you gone? Did you... No, did you... you I, I did fly away, but no, there's nothing to see. It's not... There's nothing to see. So, yeah, perfectly serviceable, nice, fun-looking streamer jacket skin. Can't complain. Right, Mr. Micro, now we've got some weapons. Shall we discuss a certain notorious rocket launcher that's been going around for a while? So, this is the uh, Rocker Launcher 444, 444, 444s, 444, 444, yep, yep, okay, so, this has been getting quite a lot of attention recently, because, yeah, Glow in the Dark Aim Sight, this has a Glow in the Dark Aim Sight, now you might sit there and say, ah, oh, it's pay to win, Hey, okay. So, uh, Mr. Micro, we had a bit of a chat about this earlier. And what is your opinion for what I'm looking at right here? So, let me just shoot this off. Kabam. Oh, I hit something. Goodbye, Mr. Bear. Right then. So, Mr. Micro. <laughs> Did you get a hit marker? I uh, I didn't. I didn't. I turned off my HUD. Oh, oh, oh. That was amazing. <laughs> So, um, Mr. Micro, your opinion, because you've obviously heard about this as well, the uh, commotion, mm -hmm. the commotion about, oh, no, they accepted a, a free glow-in-the-dark aim sight weapon skin. But first of all, first of all, it's a rocket launcher. Chill out. Calm down. <laughs> With a bullet bill on the side. You see? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> That's cool. But um, that might be his logo, right? That might be his logo. So that's probably the reason why he's uh, he's got a rocket launcher. So, Mr. Micro, is it the end of the world now that we have a free glow-in-the-dark rocket launcher skin being given out to, oh, for free? Man. Oh, man. So let's just People, get a look at this. The jimmies have been rustled, for sure. I, uh, I heard, I've heard just about every panic tale in the book or, or you know a, amused or amazed statement people saying did face punch make a mistake did this one slip through the cracks are they loosening up their restrictions are they this are they that you know there's all sorts of moaning going on but the reality is unless you do a lot of 
rocket PvP in the dark. I don't think this is going to do a whole lot for you in terms of uh, giving you an advantage or anything else in the same way that glow-in-the-dark aim sites do. And as we already know, Space Punch has allowed us now to use glow in, um, like third-party crosshair apps. And a glow site at this point is not really a big advantage for anybody. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think this is going to do anything tactically to give you an advantage in game. I think in the worst case scenario, it it might get you busted. You know, if you're, it if can, you're it can countered. If you get, you know, if it's if if you're raiding and it gets dark, or you're raiding in the dark, sometimes stealth really does matter. In can you situation. walk backwards? Can you walk backwards so we can see this? You, it is noticeable. You want me to moonwalk? Yep, yep. To... Moonwalk. Go backwards, and eventually. Okay. We sh we should turn off the lights. Let me turn off the lights real quickly. I'm old enough to turn off the lights. Yay! Right. So, back to here. Zoom on in. Right. So, chat. Here's the scenario. Um, my rust just crashed. So you're gonna have to finish watch this. Me sleeping on the floor. Yeah. Uh. All right, my micro. I'll I'll finish this off myself then. Um. <laughs> we went on for far too long uh, that's not going to cause this whole thing to crash is it no okay good good no. so uh chat mr micro got all tuckered out he had too much fun today he got to uh, pretend he was ambushing in front of the water and whatnot so i'll have to finish this off myself uh happened? go on i got my position was compromised on account of my glow site and <laughs> Counter raiders took me out. What can I do? So that is the, the beach. that is the theoretical scenario where uh, you're in a group. It's night time. You're trying to raid a base, trying not to be noticed as much. Of course, you are probably making some noise, but someone could creep up on you in the darkness, and they can see that red tip. They can see that red tip. They can see you're the guy shooting the rocket launcher. They can quickly ambush you, shoot you, take you out, remove your rocket launcher, run away with it. Counter raiders, uh, people trying to jump in and steal some loot. Grubs, grubs, third party, third party yeah. you name it. Yeah. You're making yourself a target. You might sit there and say, ah, oh, night time, I can take advantage of this. This is going to help me out. Well, other people can notice you as well. If they're trying to figure out who's the guy shooting the rocket launcher, you might sit there and say, oh, but they just shot a rocket launcher. They, 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 just, shot, they just shot a rocket. Well, for a few seconds, you're not, are you? And if you're, if you're repositioning, well, the ambusher needs to find out where they are so they can quickly headshot you and take what you have and run away. Now, will, in a group, are you going to have torch lights, uh, flashlights and whatnot? Most probably. But just think, you don't really want to have the potential problems. And do you honestly really need a, a glow sight? Do you honestly need a glow sight for the rocket launcher? Think about it. Like, if you're in position, you've got your lights out, yeah, you're probably knowing what you're doing anyway. So, don't worry too much about it. It's not the end of the world. And uh, we'll continue from here. So, that was Rocker, uh, Rocker Launcher 4444. Uh, like, there's 44s. Four you, you get the idea. <laughs> So there is uh, how many weapons? We've got a SAR, we've got an AK, uh, I can quickly check myself if I just did this, SAR, rocket launcher, AK, sweet. So, let's go take a look at the AK. So, hedge, 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 does this glow in the dark? Tell me quick. No, doesn't glow in the dark, looks very nice, perfectly fine. During the day, very nice red aim sight, helpful for most environments. Quickly do that. Russo. Now, uh, someone made a joke that this is the game's red line clone, of the red line clone. So, yeah, that's cool. I can see that. How about I just quickly get a quick look at me. Let's see if I even need micro. Yeah, I'll do I'll do all the work, shall I? So I'll turn yeah, it tonight. I have to because I think my easy anti cheat crashed or something. I'm, I'm trying to reconnect it. I'm getting EAC errors. It's all right, mate. I'm, I'm only joking. I do want you here. I'm all alone, micro. <laughs> the people are staring at me and judging me for everything I do. So, nice, cool design that we have here. Very, very sleek. It's free. How can you complain, chat? Maybe you missed out in getting a blackout AK-47. Well, you know what? Chat, 
you can get this for free right now. All you have to do is devote quite a lot of time watching Spanish streamers. That's all right with you, isn't it? You you can pick up some Spanish, learn something. Very good. But uh, yeah, that's a nice looking AK. And I think for free, how can you complain? And I just kind of li literally just froze a little bit right there. Maybe it's because I... Maybe it's because you're loading in, Mr. Micro. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. That's nice, nice looking AK, can't go wrong. And let's switch over to the SAR. Does the SAR glow in the dark? Well, I'll go to night time. Oh, didn't mean to do that. No glowing that I can see. Back over to here. Helpful, red aim sight. Chop, don't know why it says chop, but it says chop. And if I can just look over where are we looking oh that's fine i guess i'll have to uh get a nice view of that very cool looking color scheme let me let me let me just stand up stand back a bit there you go i think that would be a better position to be up yep so nice looking color scheme very cool design and if we just slowly move over to the red tip very nice it's supposed to be like night time uh, not night time space Space is a wonderful thing, chat. Very cool, very nice. Fairly, I was going to say tame design, but yeah, yeah, it's all right. That's cool. I like it. I appreciate it. I respect it. So, chat, that is all of the skins that I could possibly think of sharing. Now, there was charitable Rust skins, but we're probably going to hold off on that for a bit until we probably find out what is actually being accepted, or at the very least, wait until November. Because November is when Charitable Rust is. So we've gone through that, 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 that. We've done all of them. Perfect. Wonderful. I, uh, it's sad to hear you, uh, die on me, Mr. Micro. <laughs> uh, are you right down there? Yeah, 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 I'm loading back in now. I'm trying. It's all right. I think I've finished off now. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you. I'll leave you to the bears and the vultures. You'll be all right. You'll be fine. At least you fill them up and make them happy. <laughs> one of those. One of those swamp people's gonna come out of the swamp and take all my stuff. Well, oh, no, switch drops. Well, goodies, no, they, they, they're going to turn you into a swamp person. That's how it works. They don't take your stuff. They turn you into a swamp person, therefore becoming swamp micro. And then a swamp person owns your stuff because you've become a swamp person. It's fairly logical. How could you not understand that? So anyway, chat, everyone. Thank you for uh, being here. My chat here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching on YouTube as well. Sorry it was a bit long, but we had a whole lot to cover, didn't we? Now that it's out of the way, now that I've taught you about what potentially might be coming out for Halloween in the workshop, what we've seen come out this past week, and with the Twitch uh, skins. I hope that was enjoyable enough. I hope you've learned something. We've gone over two and a half hours. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be a long upload. Oh my. But thank you for being patient with me. And I hope you uh, learned something, enjoyed yourself, and uh, maybe you might want to start investing into certain things. Oh, let's find out.